The gun shop show, the gun shop show. What is it? We don't know. The gun shop show, the gun shop show. Here we go, it's the gun shop show. Welcome to the gun shop show. Uh, this is going to be a pretty interesting episode. But if you've never joined us before, this is about to become your new favorite program. I think we're picking up fans every day. It seems like it. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is the only show that comes to you from the sales floor of a real world gun store. And not just any gun store. The best gun store in the world. The world. Liberty Tree Guns. I'm your host, Eli Bruton. And alongside me, the man behind the triggers, so to speak, is our producer, Trevor Smith. Hello, everybody. And oh, as always, our resident eye candy gun bunny, right hand man, Logan Jones. Logan. So elegant. This show might turn out to be either the best show we've ever done, <laughs> right? Or by far the worst. So I think this one's going to be called Throw Any Everything at the Wall and See What Sticks. Something's going to have to stick. <laughs> so we've had a super busy week. Mm -hmm. As if times were not strange enough in the gun world anyway, we got the bi definitely the biggest shipment of the year. It's pretty huge. It's huge. huge. It's, it's like huge. It's, it's, it's if you were going to quantify it, how would you quantify it? In wheelbarrows? Well, I can tell you it was an entire box truck full, and it, an entire big truck full. <laughs> Sounds big. <laughs> Sounds pretty big. big. Yeah. Uh, hundreds of guns, ammunition. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Accessories. We're not even all the way through mm -hmm. it, no. but Logan can attest. How many sunglasses were in it? Uh, none Zero. to my oh. knowledge. Oh, there was yeah. None. We didn't so go you, to you, a women's. Oh. Victoria's Secret store no. to get the shipment. So. <laughs> well, well, why not, that? man? Too, just too pricey. <sighs> yeah, you're right. I try to keep them cheap, man. Mm -hmm. uh, next time, if you could get a U-Haul box truck full of dollar sunglasses, I would appreciate it. Do they have to be women's or? Uh, unisex is what I prefer. But you always wear women's. You always mm -hmm. wear the transgender. Well, ones. these aren't. I'm looking. These are these are those are women's. These are women's. You know, it's women's and men's, all one word. Oh, I woo didn't know if you were like, mince. woo, man. So, <laughs> yeah, it's like, woo, man. <laughs> Normally, on the show, we have sort of a theme, generally speaking. Yeah. Like, we'll yep. go through and have, uh, like, we've done the guns of Bonnie and Clyde. I remember that one. Uh, we've done... The guns of Dirty Harry. Dirty oh, Harry. Yeah, that was a good one. And we spend time throughout the week prepping for that, mm -hmm. maybe finding videos and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. We've been so busy working on this shipment that when you guys said, what's the show going to be about? I didn't... Eli's like, we got a show? <laughs> we make a show? News to me. Uh, I was like, let's just make it about all this stuff that we're knee deep yeah. in. He's like, uh, guys, I quit. And we're like, you can't, <laughs> man. It's your business. This is yeah. your deal. This is your deal. Uh, so for that reason, though, because we're going to be doing the... Um, shipment as sort of mm -hmm. the thing that we're talking mm -hmm. about today, we're going to have to have that Pro Outfitters mobile cam warmed up. You're going to want to have it, it just fired yet, up. But just get it warmed up. She's ready. He's been sitting on it all day mm -hmm. long. But Incubating. Incubators. People from all last week know that we gave away a $100 Liberty Tree Guns gift card. This mm -hmm. is true. Yep. Mm -hmm. And we need to announce that winner. Yep. So we're going to do that today on the show. Okay. We are going to check the voicemail. Mm -hmm. Love it. Uh, we are also going to give away another gun. We're giving away another, another gun? One? We're giving I didn't away even know gun. that. For free? We are on a roll now. Is it every gun that's streaming on the screen right now? Are we giving away all those guns? Whoa, no. That's a lot of guns. No. <laughs> no. no. Imagine how famous you'd be if you were just like, There's a lot of free things guns. I trust you for, Trevor. Yeah. What? Deciding what to give away. <laughs> the numbers just aren't there. <laughs> right. just not, well, not hey, man, I'm a dreamer, all right? Also, I would like to address, when did y'all lose your marbles? Who's y'all? All y'all out there. In the world? All y'all? It's like wow. we figured out. It's just, 
I don't know if it's the masks and the lack of oxygen to the brain. <laughs> it but could be. We were getting a little bit of strange behavior in the gun store. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like what kind of strange behavior? Yeah, you, you got like about? people walking in on all fours or something? So I don't know if this guy that came in had been in a coma since <laughs> mid January. What did he look like? What's I the, like the premise. What's the hairy creature from Adam's family? The right. thing? So we have had this massive gun shortage. Everything, uh, every handgun under $500 pretty much sold out. Uh, definitely no Glocks. The things that people really like are the first things to go. So right. ARs, especially ARs that are mm-hmm. under $1,000, they sold out really fast. Gone. The Glocks were all gone. By some grace of God miracle, we had a whole leaning tower of Glock cases. Right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know how many, how many black Glock cases were in that pile that we first checked in. Just guessing. Like 15? Yeah. It was a ton. A lot of Glocks for, yeah. for one shipment. Guy walks in and just times it just right. We wheeled him out. Mm-hmm. And uh, even though we've seen Glocks going for... Uh, what did you tell me on those auctions on Gunbroker? What if, are other people selling like, those? Standard Glock 1917 is going for like nine to a grand, like nine hundred dollars to a grand. So we check them in, mm-hmm. five forty nine, normal price yeah. or whatever, mm-hmm. five ninety nine. I don't remember which model it is, yeah. but normal price, like year ago price. Mm-hmm. And he walks in, he's like, "You got any Glock 19s?" And I'm like, "Looky here, <laughs> like it's your lucky day, right?" Yeah. Go buy a lottery ticket as soon as you leave here. And right. he looks at it and he goes, what's the best price you can do on it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, You're like, well, you? normally it's this much, but one and a half times. I'm like, now. are yeah, you right. serious right now? <laughs> like, you should quietly pay for this and leave with it before right. someone else figures out uh-huh. what's going down. It is pretty crazy to think that people would would have the audacity to do stuff like that you know like it's hard to get this thing but i'm gonna try and wheel and deal which i mean you miss 100 percent of the shots you don't yeah. take i mean but I, come on i understand and we we are we do everything we can to make a deal work for the right. customer mm-hmm. that's been absolutely we, we take it. offers on just about anything but yeah. it, was, true. <laughs> it was just like bro <laughs> <laughs> come on come on these ain't and, making it through the day today and the other thing is Nine millimeter ammo has been sold out for months. In fact, uh, I may have told the story on the show before, but I yeah. was in the hospital, oh, my, yeah. uh, b- just waiting on my mm-hmm. uh, baby daughter to be born. Mm-hmm. My wife's literally in labor, and this <laughs> whole thing is sparking off in March. Yeah, and I'm going as best I can on mobile through our uh, suppliers and just ordering what I felt like at the time was an obscene amount mm-hmm. of ammunition. Right. Like I'm talking within 10 minutes of sitting there, I ordered six figures worth of ammo. Wow. Wasn't enough. And no. it, it wasn't <laughs> even, even a drop in the bucket. Like if I'd have known, right. I don't, you know, I don't know uh, even how I would have funded it, but if it could have been millions of dollars if then you, it wouldn't have been right. enough. Now, you know? now, if you could go back in time, you'd be like, uh, sport or how much will you take for the entire business? <laughs> the, the, the <laughs> I'll fun, just buy him out. The funny thing is though, like people have been sitting around undoubtedly on lockdown, mm-hmm. watching the news, right? watching the riots, mm-hmm. watching... And then they come in, they're like, where's all the ammo? <laughs> and, right. and I'm like, it's out of stock. And they're mm-hmm. like, looking at me. Like, but really, where's the rest of the day? <laughs> I know you got right. some in the back. Like, <laughs> like I want to just not sell it to you. Uh, so, you know, I don't know. But good news is mm-hmm. we have 9 millimeter ammo in stock. Yep. Right meow. Mm-hmm. Right meow. We also have... Five five six in stock. Yep. Two twenty three. Yep. But I want to make sure we don't forget. Let's not. So forget. I'm going to announce. Let's not forget the not winner forget. of last week's giveaway on the okay. show. I'm also going to announce which gun we're giving away. But first, okay. I want you to get some free merch. Tell them about that free merch, free baby. Okay. And there's a reason you need to get this stuff because free for one, merch. it's free. Free, free, it's yep. free. And hey, there's also good things that come with the free merch too. Yeah, mm-hmm. like yeah. There's possibly free guns. Yeah. What? Right. Free guns. So, free merch. One thing you need to get is oh man, it's so hot. the bumper sticker. That this is, is so a high gloss, like meaning you can put it out. 
mm. on your car and it's kind of stay good and vibrant. Looks like it just got a car, like a uh, wax. That's a bumper sticker. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. when you when you hear me reference things that I'm saying you can see, if you're listening on the radio, you can always come get the feed on Facebook. Go to libertytreeguns.com. You can see what we see mm-hmm. and everything. And today we're going to take you on a tour of the shop and we're going to talk about guns that we've gotten in and things we've gotten in. And so it'll be a fun time to join on the feed. But don't worry. If you're on the radio and you're like, I'm not going to get to see that, I'll be your eyeballs. Oh, okay. Oh, I will use I was worried. my limited redneck vocabulary to eloquently paint a picture of what I'm seeing. Those Ele- are big words. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No. Elegant eyeballs. Um, you can get a koozie. Vibrantly green. Or we got a brand new flavor of hat. What? Oh, oh man. Yeah. That's Cam- like Hunter Orange. Oh. Camo in the front. Blend in and stand Hunter, out at the same time. Yeah. Hunter Orange mesh back. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. It's Liberty dope. Tree Guns logo on the front. So nice. And there's a few other freebies that you can get. But uh, And then there's also merch. If you just like the show and you want to mm-hmm. support us, you're like, maybe I don't need a gun right now, but I want to represent the yep. gun shop show. I want to represent my friends in the gun business, Liberty mm-hmm. Tree Guns. You can go to where, Logan? Our website at libertytreeguns.com. Top of the page, you'll see Liberty Tree merch. Click that. Then click the merch section, get you some free merch. If you're wanting a t-shirt, we have those too. And so whether you want to pick this up in store or have them shipped, you can have these free things shipped. And I'm not even going to charge you. If you get just the bumper sticker, 100% free. If you get the uh, koozie or the hat, we're going to charge you like a couple bucks for shipping. It's not much, but it's going to be otherwise completely free. Friends price. Mm -hmm. And when we get back, I'll tell you how you can turn that free stuff into a free gun on the gun shop show. Hey, Adam and Lauren. Uh, thanks for jumping on here so we can make an ad for the show. Yeah, absolutely. We're huge Second Amendment advocates and a big support of the Liberty Tree and the Gun Shop Show. All right, so for the ad, we're going to want to go over what you offer. We do all the standard auto, home insurance, life insurance. We also do a lot of rental property, whether that be commercial rental or residential duplexes, apartment complexes, single family dwellings. And we have specialty policies for all your firearms. Well, you have commercial coverage on my uh, rental properties, so we can put that in the ad too and i was thinking that we'll talk about how your big supporters of the store and how you come in the store pretty much every day on your lunch break and buy guns maybe don't mention the everyday thing because my wife does watch the show but we've been known to come in occasionally every once in a while all right guys i think that we have everything we need to make an ad so once i get it done i'll give you guys a holler to check it out trevor don't put it in the ad but those guys are in here literally every day on their lunch break Hey everyone, The Gun Shop Show is brought to you by Carthage Lock and Key. If you need anything to do with a lock or a key... To success! Did they tell you to say that? No, I I just thought it sounded good. They have a mobile service, so they can come to you and cut pretty much any kind of key. To success! Or if you lock your keys in your car... To success! I'm talking even security modern chip keys. To success! Trevor, could you just just jingle the name of the uh, business? Okay. Okay. Right. Yeah, I'll do it good this time. So, with all of my properties and all of the needs I have, I trust... Carthage Lock and Key! To success! It's been a pleasure over the last 18 months serving both the Mount Vernon and the Carthage community with all their wireless needs, whether that's small business or keeping your family connected. Visit us at 100 George E. Phelps Boulevard, Carthage, Missouri, or 417-317-6342. If you need a simple upgrade to add a line or need help with a plan change, come by and let one of our representatives help you out. Our Mount Vernon location is located at 318 West Mount Vernon Boulevard. Our phone number is 417-737-9669, or you can visit our Facebook page at Verizon Wireless Mount Vernon. We have all the accessories for your favorite models, such as the S20 Ultra, maybe it's the 11 Pro Max, or the Google Pixel 4. For just a simple plan change, an upgrade, or to add a new line to your account, stop by one of our convenient locations or check us out on social media. To get connected or stay connected to Verizon Wireless, the nation's best network. Thank you. We will see you soon. 
Hey there, we got your lab results back. It looks like you have a fever and the only prescription is more gun shop show. Welcome back to the gun shop show. Uh, you writing back. a whole new jingle, man? Yeah. You want to rewrite that jingle on the Sounded spot? Sounded pretty good. That's, so in case there's an entry, like that's the double entry. Oh. Oh, double entries. What about um, triple entries? I don't I don't Just follow the entry you thing. Can't double entry a triple entry. In, uh, uh, yeah. I'm I mean, still new to entries. I'm entering so. into the show from the break. Oh. oh. Walking into the radio room. Uh, double, so you, okay. we are coming to you from the sales floor of Liberty Tree Guns. Mm-hmm. Uh, coming across the airwaves on News Talk KZRG and KSGF and KSGF, of course, mm-hmm. KSGF Springfield's Talk 1041. And we are also on your television screens it's on true. Sunday afternoon. We got mm-hmm. a TV show, mm-hmm. and so probably uh, in your face right now, too, on the social medias. Probs. That's absolutely true. Bringing this beautiful mug. Coming mm-hmm. to you on Facebook and, and YouTube. Mm-hmm. All right, Here. right before the break, I was telling you how you could get absolutely free, free. merch. Mm-hmm. Get that free. free merch. Free of And charge. not that you really need a reason other than the fact that it's completely free. It's free. Mm-hmm. But I'm going to give you even more reason. Give them more reasons, man. Go ahead. What's, in the, what's one more reason? What's we in the box? We got the Swag Contest 2020 going. That's still going? Whoa. In the Gun Shop Show fan group, which is a fun group, by the way. Uh, I've had a super time. Uh, it's about 4,000 members, 4,100. 4, yeah, we're, we're over four grand now. Yeah. Good. Congratulations. 4K um, strong. You... This is just a group for fan discussion. So t- they make suggestions about the show, have some good ones in there uh, this week. But also, sometimes the fans just discuss things among themselves. Like, yeah. here's what I'm into, guns-wise. and There's some of that. There's also some show ideas in here that yeah. I kind of liked. Yeah, yep. that's exactly. Uh, the history and some example of Rimfire Guns. Which is eh? something that's been on our radar yeah, and we yeah. have been working on. We've so talked about the yeah. Glad to know that that is of interest to... Love our it. listeners love it so but one of the things we're doing right now is the swag contest 2020 yeah what is that so this is where you take a picture of the swag either on yourself or with uh you know in a cool setting okay uh and you post it put swag contest 2020 Okay. And this can be your t-shirt. Some people are using this swag that we've started giving away on the show. And then some people have like t-shirts that they've mm-hmm. had since we first got open. And are, or like are, stockings. Um, yeah, Christmas stockings, yeah, which is I something we haven't those. done in a couple of years. Mm-hmm. Here is one. And uh, if you're watching on the screen, we've got three handguns and one of our Liberty Tree coffee mugs which is got that classic liberty Mm -hmm. tree logo yeah a few uh versions ago blast from the past and so they've just made this cool photo and posted it for those of you that are shy about yourself being in it don't be shy so you go and you post it okay and these are all tagged the same so we can see them all in the same collection oh man oh little cutie got a cute cutie you got a cute little guy Mm -hmm. got a liberty tree bumper sticker on a uh, like a Yeti cooler. That's what it looks like to me. Posed mm-hmm. up with the gun. Got the the can koozie on his. Oh, uh, oh, oh that's on his. <laughs> that's good. Hey, that's good thinking. That's yeah, good planning. Is. So uh, let's see. Let's get, give me the first name of that. Um, of what? Of that. Uh, of the entrant. entrant. Yeah, Caleb, Caleb Hoffman. Caleb, uh, thank you. That's awesome example Hoff, of what Hoffman. we want to see happen. Um, you know what's surprising? And I mean, I don't know that it's surprising, but. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm flattered about. What's that? We yeah. are popular among the kiddos. Oh yeah, dude. Our demographic, eight to eighty, eight to eighty. Probably even earlier than that. Probably like Four. eight months. I walked into <laughs> uh, El Charo's Mexican restaurant. El great Charo's. place to eat, which is a great place, and I eat oh, there yeah. way too much, and have been for the. I've been eating there for over twenty years now. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, by the way, I haven't told you this. Uh, is this where you tell me they're going out of business or no, something? No, 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 no. Don't say that. Dropping bombs me, on me? They asked what? me last night what, they what it you? would take to be a sponsor of the gun oh, shop Oh, yeah? <laughs> and I'm like... Free food? Uh, I, yeah. If I <laughs> yeah. guarantee you, I guarantee you if they comp my food, it would be monetarily like, more of a benefit to me than buying an ad. <laughs> yeah. Um, so anyway, maybe that'll happen. Mm-hmm. 
uh, anyway, I walked in there and yeah. this girl, probably like a 10 year old girl mm-hmm. at a table is like looking up at me <laughs> and she's like, <laughs> and if you listen on the radio, I'm waving mm-hmm. in a thing that would be kind of like this voice. And I was, I was looking behind me cause I thought it was one of those situations <laughs> I where do the same thing where I'm like, they're you probably want to wave first. No. Cause I'm like, they're probably waving at someone behind me. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, I heard her parents go, that's the gun shop show guy. <laughs> and so I waved at her, but I mean, I'm, I'm glad that the kids like it so Heck much. Yeah, man. I, I mean, I'd like to know what it is that, you know, appeals across all those demographics. Like, I know what the kids like, cause you, you think like? of our What's caller like? Lulu. Yeah. yeah. She describes herself as a self-described old lady. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That she said that. And mm-hmm. then we got little kids that love it. Mm-hmm. So, uh, I, I, a buddy of mine told me that his kids first words, gun shop show. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So anyway, those are some examples of the swag contest entries mm-hmm. so far. Uh, that's all you do is you post it in there. And then when you do, you can encourage your friends to go click like, Yep. so they can join the group too. And they can, react Mm -hmm. whether that's heart emoji or thumbs up or whatever yeah and then get that every one of those counts as a essentially a vote for you so we're going for reactions that's right reactions yeah Yeah, reactions doesn't matter what the reaction is if you get a thousand angry angry faces faces, yeah it still counts and someone else gets 999 smiles you win yep see and that cool thing about this is not just a chance to win like if Mm -hmm. you try You'll win. You can win. Put a little effort into and, it. Uh, and the giveaway is a mini Mosin. Super cool oh, yeah. gun. Absolutely. Um, and so definitely get in on that swag contest. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of fun, and you can do that. Uh, go to Facebook, type in Gun Shop Show Fan Group, and we'll put the link in the comments. Mm-hmm. Okay, but we're going to give away a gun just today. Ooh. For this straight show. Straight up. Another gun? Straight up. Wow. For this show. How are we still in business? Straight up. And all show. you have to do is share the feed and tag five friends. Share and tag and five. We're giving away this teal. Would you describe it as teal? Uh, Yeah, probably Blue. teal. Oh, yeah, definitely Cricket. teal. 22 yeah. long rifle. The, uh, the monitor makes it look almost baby blue. Yeah, no, but it's baby in baby person. Blue. It's, it's like not baby blue. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's actually teal. Don't know the lyrics. Uh, <laughs> you know, somebody said to me that there's people that think that George Strait is terrible because he doesn't write his own songs. Yeah, well, who cares? Uh, yeah, I don't know if that's how that works. I mean, not everybody can be a writer. Not everybody be, can be a, a great singer. You know, you know who I bet doesn't think about it when he's in one of his many beach houses? Jorge Crooked? Uh, I bet <laughs> that's his alter <laughs> I ego. I see what you did there. That's George, yeah, George like Strait's yeah, alter ego, good. Jorge like, Crooked. Like, like a remote. Like a, okay, mm-hmm. here's the thing. Wait, you didn't finish telling us who it was in the beach house. I, you need I that explanation. Well, I interrupted you with uh, Jorge Crooked. So, uh huh. Yeah. I Is that who it was? Jorge Crooked. And Let's pull the listeners. Did you understand where that was going? I missed it because I was hitting you with zingers, Aren't man. We kinda, I need a replay. If you I didn't need that spoon fed to you, <laughs> click like now. I didn't hear the joke. What was the joke? George Strait. Uh huh. He what probably doesn't spend time worrying about those people who criticize him because because he's wildly successful. Oh. Oh, okay. okay. All right. Wait, it in our face, yeah. dude. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. On we'll be right back show. on the Gun Shop Show. Hey, everybody. Eli here, and I'm really excited to tell you that the Gun Shop Show is brought to you by one of my favorite places on Earth. Located here in my hometown of Carthage on the beautiful historic square, the Emporium on the Square, and the Woodshed. It's a art gallery, an event center, a gift shop. They have art classes, and there's very unique Americana artwork from famous artists like Andy Thomas. They handle a lot of his original framing. Just has this incredible old school vibe, and you can feel the history coming through through have to check out the art gallery but then as you work your way to the back my favorite part the woodshed 
had a lot of great meals in here. They've got burgers. I love their catfish. Excellent. Chicken and waffles even. It's incredible. And it's also a music venue. So we got to see my favorite band of all time, the Ben Miller Band. The ceiling was literally raining down. They were rocking so hard. But the best thing owned by one of my favorite people on earth, that's Cherry Babcock. Check out the Emporium on the Square and the Woodshed. Hey, podcast listeners and live stream viewers. I wanted to let you know that the Gun Shop Show is made possible by our friends at MidAmerica RV. Being in the customer service industry, I have a really high standard for how customers are treated. MidAmerica RV does it right. I've got my RV through their dealership and I've taken it all over the country. Uh, we made it to South Padre Island. We've gone to Colorado several times. And if you've ever owned an RV, you know there's a lot that comes with it. So who you get it from matters. And it's extremely important that you have support after the sale. Uh, they're located just outside of Carthage. They have a really vast inventory and they are home of, I believe they call it a forever warranty. So I urge you, if you're in the market for one, to check them out. Uh, it's a really fun and can be very affordable way to get your trips in. So visit them at midamericarv.com. We appreciate their support of the gun shop show. If you're in the market for a travel trailer or fifth wheel, check out Mid America RV. the Ruger Security 9 LTO, an exclusive new firearm only from Liberty Tree Guns. This is an affordable pistol that comes with Ruger's renowned reliability and worksmanship and comes with an optic with a three-year warranty. If you haven't ever shot a pistol with an optic on it, it's a lot of fun and you can really acquire a target quickly. All right, Ruger Security 9 LTO unboxing. So it pretty much obviously comes with everything the Ruger Security 9 would already come with. And this is how they look in the box. Ruger started doing this insert in the box, which is kind of nice. Um, we've had to modify it a little bit to make sure that your optic fits. So there's a cutout so the cover can go on and then the gun can fit right here in that. Um, they come with two mags, so a lot of price point guns, you're just getting one mag, but you get two 15 round whoops, um, OEM mags. A couple little bonuses is the optic comes with the AR mounts. So if you want to pull this optic off and run it on an AR, you've got everything that you need. That's a freebie, just comes in the box. Once we pull this insert out, Here's where all the goodies that come with the optic. Got a three year warranty on the Firefield optic, the user manual. It has the, the uh, tools for both mounting the optic if you wanna take it off, and also the adjustment screwdriver for the windage and elevation, and then all of the factory information for your pistol. So um, this is the format that those will come in. And again, guys, remember this is an option if you are excited to try out an optic on a pistol uh, and you want to do it for a price point. So these at this price are cheaper than some uh, guys are paying for just an optic. You're getting the gun and the optic. You can get the price and all the details at libertytreeguns.com. Just search LTO. Welcome back to the Gun Shop Show, and I don't want to waste any more time. I want to fire up the Pro Outfitters Mobile Cam. Mobile Cam! Pro Outfitters, our great sponsor, is a hunting outfitter that can take you hunting in how many states? Or I want to say it's all 50? No. 49? No. 48? No. 47? No. 37? No. 27? 29? 10? 
Well, are we going getting closer? Uh, <laughs> yeah, fifty-two states. <laughs> you can hunt. How many countries? Go to huntproutfitters.com. Can you go to huntproutfitters.com right now? I, I probably can. Oh, look at the mobile cam. Oh yeah. Let's point that at something that wouldn't be that Terrible would to look would at. be prudent. Yeah. Hunt pro outfitters dot cam. I'm ripping and I'm ripping and rhyming. So right whether now. you want to hunt whitetail deer, duck, whether you want to have a great experience on uh, Taco Tuesday at the lodge, it's a beautiful lodge. Uh, we may just go take the show to it one of these days. But let's uh, let's go ahead and see. You can hunt. Northwest Four states. Missouri, mm-hmm. Southeast Kansas, Nebraska. It was four states, right? I Wasn't think you said that. States? I thought it was four states. Like, Maybe it's three. Oh. Uh, I know their How backyard. How many states do you need to hunt, though? I don't know, man. Like, what if it's more states than that? What if it's like you're in a state of so something? So they Panic. don't want to say it, and I won't bust who it is, but there are some famous people that hunt with pro outfitters. That's how elite of a hunting outfit they are and they make the mobile cam possible which logan's already loose oh he's out running around he's already loose let me throw let me throw him back up on the on the pro outfitters mobile on the cam. Pro outfitter. okay guys if you're listening on the radio don't worry i got you right now on the pro outfitters mobile cam we are pointed at a case full of cricket 22s these are those little miniature youth 22 rifles and we've got them in so many flavors is that the same as what we're giving away that is i just wanted to show that we've got white camo pink camo a laminate stock so is that if, one like the bill of rights i can't tell what that is uh the bill of the right. one with it looks like writing on it uh that is the one that's oh. labeled murka yeah you and got that, distressed american flag but you also have bits of the old constitution the constitution yeah those are kind of cool, man. I it's bet like, you that's why. Whole set. I bet you that's why the politicians haven't been using it uh, because it has it on there. The Constitution's like, I can't on that be gun. This <laughs> it's on that gun, and they're like, "Where'd it go?" <laughs> uh, uh, Keystone Sporting Arms put it on a rifle, so that's why the politicians haven't been using mm, it. All so right, you get him a copy, Logan. Just go grab at random th- three guns, and we're going to talk about them on the radio. Just something that's come in lately on a shipment. And we're taking you on a lovely tour through the store on the Pro Outfitters mobile cam. And behind the counter uh, right look now. At, look at that pile of guns. Gosh. Look at that pile of guns. Look at that. Oh, and the pile of oh my freebie gosh. merch so that some guns. of you are taking too long to come pick up. I need to see if we got any uh, those are shotguns in Those are orders of... Shipment. Yeah. Uh, got AR. some ARs in. Oh, R. he's bringing an R. AR. R. Bring a handgun too, at least one. I know that. I know that it's tough to carry all this stuff. <laughs> Logan's holding a camera, an AR-15, and uh oh, what's no. he going for here? What's he going for? Oh, oh good no, call. He did. No, no, okay, he did we're gonna reveal what that is here in just a second. Mobile if you're curl. listening on the radio, all right, he's gonna gather those up. Did you see anything, Trevor, in this shipment that you were like, hmm? Um, the, <laughs> probably the thing that wasn't the guns, the box of kitchen knives that for some reason that we got. That I was, was uh, like, I'm sitting there going, hmm, that looks nice. <laughs> I want to get those kitchen knives. All right. I like that. Some flame Thanks for do. your awesome camera work. What yeah. do we have here? He's a real Vanna White with that thing. I can't believe this thing has survived the last few days. It won't for much longer. No, this is the Sig Tread. Oh, wow. Um, got that slimline M-Lock rail on it. I do um, I do like that uh, rail. It's I, I don't know why, but I like it. It's cool. You get a quality finish with Sig. Like mm-hmm. a lot of your cheap, uh, cheaper ARs, uh, your upper will be kind of glossy and the lower is all dull. Yeah. You get a nice, uh, consistent... Uh, anodized um sig m4 tread is the uh m400 tread is a lot of value in an ar Mm -hmm. it's kind Uh, of their entry level ar but it has a lot of features that a bunch of entry level ars don't have like that custom uh that muzzle flash the flash hider there i like that flash 
whatever is that what it's called a flash muzzle flash hider. flash hider yeah. flash hider yeah it conceals your flash can i ask you a question that you're probably not going to want me to ask go ahead and ask me. uh what, so just does a tread standard question yeah yeah <laughs> uh <laughs> what what does the tread mean anything the fact that they call probably, it the tread? It's probably a play on don't tread on me. Oh, yeah. okay. I would have right. to assume, like, you going to tread on me? Yeah. I'm going to whip this out and tread back. <laughs> I'm going to tread right on top of you. All over, you going to tread, tread, tread. Uh, nice positive uh, controls on mm-hmm. the... Uh, it looks so big. Mag release. The trigger's pretty nice. The grip and buttstock Ooh. are of higher quality than typical standard ARs. I did not know... Or I had forgotten that you have an ambidextrous mag release on this. Mm-hmm. That is a cool feature. So most ARs just uh, have the standard mag release you can activate with your index finger. Uh, this also has an ambidextrous release on the opposing side. So you can reach up with your thumb or with your support hand and activate that. Pretty cool. That's one of many things that have come in this week. Yeah, so, I kind of dig that one. Yeah, me too. I really like it. Uh, yeah. One thing I thought was cool that we got in is actually behind you, that Browning T-bolt there. Oh, I like that too. Um, is that the Master T-bolt? So, uh, <laughs> Mr. T-bolt? I see what you think. One of the things that um, when I do a big group buy, mm-hmm. sometimes it's you, everything or nothing when you buy these things yeah. out. Yeah. And what I love about it, though, is... There's things that I would never order just from seeing it on a supplier's website. Yeah, right. But when I hold it in my hand, I think, gosh, we got to stock those mm-hmm. because I know they're going to sell. Right. And so I'm going to I'm gonna roll back here. And you guys, you hold down the fort yeah, while I, I roll will. over here. Don't just leave. No, I'm not. Look, bro, I got your back. Don't, yeah, we I got, got you. your back. Okay, We're not going to leave. Hey, I'm just going to take you. over right now. So, you know, like, see, see if you're just joining us right on there? the radio, Eli's getting ready to this back away from the backwards on the chair for and, a minute. And, and I have a little bit of um, PTSD from this because... Yeah. Oh, when uh, we were just dead air. Yeah. Like week two. That was like early days. Yeah, I rolled away from the mic and I came back. I'm like, so what have you guys been talking about? We're like, nothing. Nothing. Just... Several minutes of dead air. <laughs> yeah. uh, we breathed heavily into so the anyway, microphone. So anyway, this is our show now, Trevor. That's right. So about whatever I wanted want. to say something that I thought was uh, topical. Go ahead and say uh, it. Thirty minutes ago, when we were talking about the shipments. Oh, you're, and oh then, okay. And then you know we uh, uh, we got made fun of for a little while. I got you. And uh, so before, now, before you continue, who with got that, made yeah. fun of? Uh, the the two guys. This guy. Hang on. This guy, and that guy. Huh? It's so hard to point. Anyway. You guys were making fun of me when I no, was No, no, no. You were making fun of us. I don't know if you I don't remember heard, that. Eli, but this is our show now. Yeah. Did you roll the way? Yeah, we just chazzed up your show, bro. We, we, what did you name it? Voted you off. <laughs> the uh, shotgun the, show. The shotgun show. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Shotgun That's because show. we've been working on our guns. The mm-hmm. real deal, you know. Gotcha. Those this guns. is the only shop that has He's a gun a little show. Peak. Little this, peak. Right yeah, here. Shot right little right baby here. peak. Yeah. Little baby piece. It's part of the gun show. Let's talk about this Browning since Let's this talk is a about gun it. show. Okay, sure. Um, you can have your show back. It's a little T bolt. <laughs> Geeft. Look at that white maple stock. It's I mean, beautiful. Let me let's show it on the big screen it's like here. Yeah, high yeah, gloss yeah. stock. So. Yeah, I mean that thing looks like like Walmart just got done uh waxing it or something like a why, floor. Why Walmart? Because why Walmart? their floors are like not. No, that's I'm like just a the, target wax of any. Okay. <laughs> All right. No. All right. El Target. <laughs> Nothing yeah, about this. Sings Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> I was I, you know, merely commenting on the so glossiness. This yeah. is white maple. Uh-huh. Like that. Look at that tiger white striping maple. in there. The only, if My you maple. saw like a really nice Fender guitar neck. Yeah. You, okay. All right. Yeah, mm-hmm. Now that you could now you not buy at Walmart. Yeah. Now you're speaking my language. I know yeah. guitar. And necks. the straight pull. Oh, I know next. Uh, the straight pull action is what really sets That's this thing what, off. Yeah. And it's oh. not that expensive. Got the gold trigger. 549. More guns coming up on the Gun Shop Show. Buckle up, because belts just got better. With Core Essentials, the perfect fit every time. With 40 plus sizing positions, styles for any situation. Whether in the boardroom, crushing sales and taking names, on your next adventure, in the great outdoors, or when you're done for the day and ready to relax. Get your perfect fit with Core Essentials. 
High Winds Drifter. Guns, rifles, shotguns, show guns. High Winds has them, you can win them. It's the All-American Gun Giveaway at High Winds Casino. Three giveaway nights and five winners each night. Earn entries now and be at High Winds on September 19th when you can win a rifle or shotgun from Henry, Ruger, Mossberg, and Brownie. Then pick up your new gun at Liberty Tree Guns in Carthage. It's the All-American Gun Giveaway, only at High Winds Casino, just east of Miami on Highway 10. High Winds has them, you can win them. Land is everything to me. Uh, When I was born, I was brought home to the family farm, uh, was raised, learned work ethic there, learned uh, appreciation and respect for life and the land itself, and it just became second nature. I had to be there all the time. Whenever I wasn't on the land, I was not happy. But I learned to understand the land, learned to respect it, you know, learned family values. You know, my wife and I have bought a farm uh, besides the one we live on, and uh, it has just been a, it's been a great investment, and it's been some place that my son and I have shared the passion of hunting together, and you know, it's just it li- uh, you know, land has been you know land has been everything in my life. It, it has kind of kept, kept me focused and, and uh, gave me a place to be. It's kind of kept me grounded. Listen here, Pilgrim. This here is the Gun Shop Show. Welcome back to the Gun Shop Show. Thank you. We were cut short by the break, Mm -hmm. which you got to hear from some of our great sponsors Mm -hmm. that make the Gun Shop Show possible. Thanks for supporting us. Thank you. I'll tell you, this is like a full-time job on top of the full-time jobs that i already had yeah and it costs money and so the sponsors they believe in the show they believe in the second amendment they help make it possible if you'd like to become a sponsor you can go to the gunshop show.com click mm-hmm. the sponsors tab send us a message we'll get you yep. fixed up now get you on the roster we were talking about this that straight bold action yeah it, on so straight I'm try to bold to action <laughs> Don't care. <laughs> uh, so it's just a straight pull, which is, um, you know. Oh, there's no rotation. No. Yeah, just no, literally just straight cool. pull. I'm surprised that more companies aren't coming out if with. If it's physically possible, it should just be the way that it is. I think a lot of companies are worried that like this, it seems kind of gimmicky when in, in reality it's not. It's actually more it's more efficient. It's faster. Well, I would have to ask, doesn't like rotating the bolt help lock it into position and make it more secure? So I think yeah. probably. Yeah. Um, but I think with 22 long rifle, you can get by with that. Oh, because there's not that much of a You know, I'm sure there's enough pressure. And there is, like, you can feel that lip, there's a locking mechanism lip, that's lip, engaged lip. here. Uh, and there are some companies that have a straight pull ARs and... Um, states that require it or it's like a straight pull on it it's it's similar, oh, pretty much it's so it's like a platform. requirement or something mm-hmm. yeah that way you can have an air platform rifle and also have a straight pull which is quicker than a bolt action interesting um so when i pulled this thing out and saw the finish and rotary mag mm-hmm. straight pull action i fully expected this to be like 899 mm-hmm. it's not no is it like six ninety nine? No. What about like five ninety nine? Nope. Cheaper? I think it's like five forty nine. What? For that grade of wood? Yeah. That quality? Pretty hey man, impressive. that thing looks so nice. You should string it up and use it for checking the voicemail. Oh, we gotta check the voicemail. We do. Yeah, we, we gotta do. check that voicemail. What but else uh, did we get in this shipment? Well, I, I got know. my uh, my Q rifle in. What? You got another one? Yeah, I know. I've been on this like spending spree lately. Oh man, your your gun budget is killing me, uh, dude. F- it's killing me. I can't keep up with your yeah, gun don't budget. Don't talk to my wife about it. She yeah. I was gonna ask. Is you, there you're any, married. Is there any? Um, yeah, yeah. Any disagreement on the gun spending in? The, in no, the it's marriage? it's it's usually like. Hey, I want to buy this gun, and she's like, "Well, I want to buy this," and then we're like, uh, "Oh, so you can buy it." And then we go ahead and buy it. <laughs> so my wife has never been opposed to me buying guns. She would say yes even more than I'll say yes to really? myself. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Well, yeah, I kind of run, run across it myself. So hmm. hold that thing up for the sure. people on the Show live stream. Him, what the heck is oh, that? Oh wow, Q. All right, what is the deal with you and right Q? Yeah. I just, I don't know. I kind of like. Uh, 
what they make and what, their innovation and all that stuff. What length of barrel is that? Does Q stand for this anything? This is a... Uh, well, you can answer that that's question a good first. Question. Uh, uh, I, it, no, it doesn't, actually. But it's a seven-inch barrel. You have a suppressor uh, here. Oh, pre-suppress. So you got a short barrel rifle. With a suppressor, yeah. So you got a double NFA item. Wow. Yeah. Wow. kind of sucky. Wow. So, yeah, you have to pay two tax stamps. Yes. Yikes. But that's just as easy as one, pretty much, mm -hmm. on the new kiosk. Yep. Kiosk. All right. And what model is that? AR? It's um, the Honey Badger. The Honey Badger. The, I thought, wait, yeah, the honey hang badger. on. I thought you wait, already wait, wait, owned wait, wait, the like Honey the Badger. Stop right like there. Like an animal. What? what? No, I own the Sugar Weasel. Uh, what's going on, dude? What are, are you doing? Are you? Hey, Eli, you got what, another job you're going to or something? What are you wearing? I know you're working hard, but Eli, what is that? What is this? What it's is this? Time for a segment we call "Stop Right There." Stop right there. Stop right there. Seriously, Q Firearms. You had to make your brand name one letter, twenty six letters. And you choose Q. If I was going to choose just one letter, I would have picked A. You know, as in A plus, grade A, sweet Tay. And not to mention, A is at the beginning of the alphabet. If you're going to sing the alphabet song, you just go A and then go ahead and stop right there. The only group of letters that Q stands out in is L, G, B, and T. As in time out. AKA, stop right there. Every time I see the Q logo, it's like I'm getting flashed by a big fat O. How about instead of whipping out your little curly Q, you just call it O and stop right there. And these are your actual product names. Honey Badger, Sugar Weasel, Trash Panda. What's next? Molasses Mink, Stevia Squirrel, Aspartame Chimpanzee. Hey, Q Firearms, how about you just go ahead and stop right there? Hey, you. In the skinny jeans. Go ahead and stop right there. Did you know there's no ammo shortage in Canada? That's right. There's a video out there of a guy going in and finding full ammo shelves inside a store called Canadian Tire. Wait. Stop right there. Apparently, the Canadian version of Walmart is called Canadian Tire. So if you go far enough north, you end up south, apparently, because that's the most redneck thing I've ever heard. Hey, you, DoorDash driver, you know that food got cold an hour ago, so you got time to just go ahead and stop right there. <sighs> Makes me half tempted to go fill up a truck full of Canadian ammo, but I have a feeling I'd get to the border and some Mountie'd say, hey. Oh, boot, you go ahead and stop right there. All makes just about as much sense as Joe Rogan moderating the presidential debates. Let me go ahead and just stop right there. You mean to tell me it's a Lincoln Douglas style debate between the host of Celebrity Apprentice and the human version of one of Jeff Dunham's puppets? And it's moderated by the guy from Fear Factor. What are they going to do? Put the candidates in a tub of baby snakes? And whoever stays in the longest becomes president? Hey, 2020. I know the year ain't over. But I think we'd all be fine if you just went ahead and... Stop right there. Stop right there. Stop right there. All right. That was our segment. <laughs> Stop right there. 
Whew. It looked like you had another job, man. Yeah, I I do what I can in between in your, selling guns yeah, and your making shows. Time off, you go yeah. work cross crosswalks. Yeah, it's his hobby. It's his passion. Well, uh, yeah, man. That, Chief Firearms really, is by far the most ridiculous manufacturer that I've encountered in re- recent history. At least in terms of branding, and I'm not talking just about the letter. Just the fact that their shirts uh, are even. A little uh, the gamer. They not, look like gamer not that I'm stuff. A it's it's eight bit, dude. Hey, I get that. I get that. If mm-hmm. you're listening to on the radio, it's you know, I gotta sure. give them this. They make good stuff. Mm-hmm. It's expensive, mm-hmm. but it's mm-hmm. hard to deny that it's nice. You know, it's true. Just weird names. Yeah, like, uh, the Erector. Mm-hmm. Right, Th- Thunder Chicken. Thunder Chicken. The fix and mini fix. I mean, I will say this in a catalog, Mm -hmm. their names are going to stand out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thunder Chicken. I forgot about that. Jumbo Shrimp. What? Is that really a thing? What? Yeah. It's a 6'5 can. Mm -hmm. That's against all the other branding names they have. Everything else is two words that aren't really related, but Jumbo Shrimp is a thing. Yeah. Well, you know what? Q Firearms, Mm -hmm. go ahead and keep on going. (laughs) <laughs> stop right there hey, Go ahead now. Stop right there <laughs> Start right here Speaking of stopping right there I was trying to pick up The voicemail Uh-oh. phone Do you need help? And yeah. I'm stuck right here Oh okay. man I'll come I'll come yeah. I, I nope. was trying to lift Did it But I ended up stopping right there It's pretty full <laughs> Man There we go Yeah Alright If you're joining us on television you're going to want to stick around for the second half of the show, which is not on TV. That's, no, it isn't. I, I bet you that you came here thinking that you were going to see football, mm-hmm. but you were off by an hour because you no. got drunk last night. <laughs> I think I got one of them hernias Uh-oh. with a voicemail phone. Get them hernias. And you're like, what the heck is this? Well, you know what? It's the gun shop show, and we're your friends in the gun business. And the second hour of the show is always available. On Facebook, on the live stream. Yep. That's right. You Finds. can always find the episodes later on gunshopshow.com. Full episodes, True. video, True. audio. Mm-hmm. The whole so shebang. So if you're on uh, TV right now and you want to know, what kind of questions did they get in their voicemail box? Yeah. Knows, I man. bet they're I'm good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I bet they're interesting. I bet they are. I How... How are the questions so intense that they make the phone heavy? I don't know, man. Maybe they're just really heavy we, questions. We have a... Oh, you yeah. got deep. Where yeah. did the universe come from? <laughs> right? Yeah, that's heavy. Um, <laughs> Where did Trevor's dad go? Join us for <laughs> the second hour of the Gun Shop Show. Hey, you know what makes this The Gun Shop Show possible? It's people who believe in the show. And someone who has believed in the show from the very beginning is my good friend Chris Chapman, owner of Whitehead Farm Supply. Here's a message from Chris. Guys, uh, my name's Chris Chapman, uh, owner of Whitehead Farm Supply. And uh, I just want to take a few seconds here to let you know that we are going to be uh, proud sponsors of The Gun Shop Show. And uh, we, we appreciate everything that them guys are doing over there. And we just want to show them our support. Thank you. So whether you have two chickens or 2,000 acres, Chris is your man. Give him a call. I guess that's pretty much the ad. Whitehead Farm Supply. Seriously? Always. Commercial idea for Netfishes. I walk into the commercial director, we'll call him's office. I say to him, hey, how's it going? He replies, good. We got your commercial ready to go. Are you ready to listen? Yeah, but before I do, I have an idea. I want to flip by you. He says, okay, a bit sarcastically. And I say, all right. And I clear my throat <clears throat> and I start singing this song, something similar. Netfishes, we're all really good friends, hanging out and stuff, and having memories to talk about when we were young. Snapfishes.
and I say the business name wrong, like Fish Nets. He replies, that's terrible. And you didn't even say the right business name at the end. It's your business. Then it cuts to Fish Snatches. I mean, Nat Fishes, where we can all be friends. And commercial. This just in, huge cave found beneath the heart of the city. Spelunka shared tales of an underground cavern system in Carthage, Missouri. Locals report the entrance to be at 10th and Garrison. Cave Gang Pizza. Stop in and enjoy wings, wood fire pizza made with local ingredients, and our full bar. Bring the whole gang and uncover a legend. People are always asking me, Eli, you seem to get the best deals on things. What is your secret? Old really... glory actions and estate sales. Trevor, I appreciate you jingling, but I have to say the ad part first uh -huh. um, because people need to know oh. about the company. Oh, I thought you wanted me to do And that. then also it's okay. the whole, it's covering up my yeah. face. So right. Again, um, just, okay, just get together. a picture like from their okay. Facebook page because yeah, that's the best got one here. place. And then just put it right up here where the Gun Shop Show logo okay. is. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'll do better. This and time. then, uh, and so let me finish the ad and then you can jingle. Okay. Okay. All right. So uh, the best place to go is their Facebook page. Oh, glory actions and estate sales. You know what? Fine. I'll just move in between the graphics and finish telling people that the best place to find out when old, old glory actions and estate sales. I think I got it that time, man. Hey folks, I had to learn the hard way that a good home inspection makes a difference when you're buying a home. Our new sponsor, All Points Inspections, can provide just that. Here's a message from Corey from All Points Inspections. Hey guys, uh, Corey Hines here, uh, owner of All Points Inspections. Up on a roof right now, currently doing a roof inspection, checking for leaks. But I am excited to announce that I am a new sponsor with the Gun Shop Show. Those guys are awesome over there. It's been kind of a Saturday morning routine for me now to join in on the conversations. Uh, just a bunch of good group of guys all around, followers, watchers. Check them out. If you guys need home inspections, give me a call. 417-439-9229. Thank you. Hey everybody, it's Eli at Liberty Tree Guns here at 530 West Fur Road in Carthage, Missouri, and I want to show you a gun collection that we just bought from an individual. A little bit of everything in this one. We wrote a check for 22 guns. Got some newer lever guns, cool Henry Silver Boy, some older shotguns. This is a cool old 410 double barrel. Um, this, was, this was a good mix. There was some newer type stuff. Some old stuff here, some black powder, some cool Colt, uh, black powder revolvers, newer Rugers, uh, Mark III's, PMR 30, Taurus Judge, couple of Taurus revolvers, got a long slide 1911 right here, and then got uh, this cool Llama 45. We just sold the sister to that gun in 38 super this particular individual this is half the collection that we bought from him and so i just want to remind you that we pay top dollar for entire collection so we'll buy one gun or a hundred from you and uh, we can offer consignment where we sort of establish what these guns are worth and we pay you out when they sell or in the case of this one we offered consignment we discussed it and then we offered a cash price which was a little bit less than the consignment settlement price uh, but it's quick it was one check and we paid those all out to this individual and uh, probably the biggest baddest coolest one of the whole mix was this Bushmaster BA 50 uh, so we have everything from little antique 22s to 50 cows in this one collection I want to remind you that we'd love a chance to buy your collection uh, find us at LibertyTreeGuns.com or here on Fur Road in Carthage, Missouri. See you soon. The 
gun shop show, the gun shop show. What is it? We don't know. The gun shop show, the gun shop show. Here we go, it's the gun shop show. Here we go. It's the second hour of the gun shop the show. The gun shop show. Yay. I'm your host, Eli Bruton, joined <laughs> by Trevor and Logan. Nice Thanks for joining us, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. In fact, if you were watching on television mm-hmm. and you came over to the live stream, we owe you stream, a high five. Mm-hmm. There you go. Thank you. High five. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Let us know in the comments. Did you come over from TV? Uh oh. Oh. Uh, we forgot. Gosh, dang it, like a redheaded stepchild who left that thing waiting, dude. Voicemail does not like to wait. No. It's true. But if you guys don't mind, I actually need to make a couple calls out. Yeah, go ahead, man. Um, Logan and I can take over for a uh, minute. That can call out? Yeah. Why yeah. do you guys tell me that? Some, uh, I, you place I your had to make a order. call last week, and you guys were like, it doesn't work. <laughs> I, I have a couple calls. Well, that's because we've seen you on the phone, Logan, and you're basically like a little teenage girl. You lay down on your belly, you got your feet your kicking feet behind kick you, you you're know, like, you're in your you PJs. No, you hang on. <laughs> yeah. No, you hang on. <laughs> I do right? the, the, and also, Logan, we're not going to let anybody use the phone that has phone pajamas. That you have to put on to wear. What's wrong with phone pajamas? Everyone has them. <sighs> no, they don't, Logan. And also, uh, we need to rock out, dude. Trevor, I can't. Uh, you hang on, I'm making. Buses. I'm dialing out. Oh, okay. I'll ch- we'll, we'll we'll do the intro. Okay. When I'm checking. Are but... you really judging me for yeah. my phone pajamas when you're wearing those glasses? Uh, no, not Look while. Not no, not while I'm wearing these glasses. Um, oh, you have <laughs> make fun of me glasses. <laughs> we had a couple customers that were a little upset that the price of nine millimeter had oh, gone up some yeah so uh now we, we paid more to get it in and are you going to try to tell me those are not transgender sunglasses first of all these were a gift from your children <laughs> <laughs> all right that no, what the these are a gift for? from the children we were you in, cannot make fun of these glasses when they're gifts from children pull those up if up you're, close if you're making fun of me with these glasses on then you're making fun of the children. No. And you just can't make the fun of children, the children. The children okay? this is for the children. on a rack uh-huh. among other men's sunglasses. Yeah. And among among um, other men's uh, sunglasses. Uh, among men's sunglasses. Uh, yeah. And they were like, these look like ones that Trevor would wear. So are you telling me this is basically like an oasis? Like these women's sunglasses, oversized women's <laughs> sunglasses are in an oasis of men's sunglasses? I'm just saying out of all of the sunglasses on the rack, mm-hmm. those are the ones that they thought you would like. Mm-hmm. Well, they weren't wrong. <laughs> and also, these are my making fun of Logan sunglasses. Um. Anyway. How's that phone call coming along? Yeah, it's... <laughs> Have you no, dialed that? Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and call some of the other stores around and see what okay. they're okay. charging. Are we listening millimeter. in? Are we privy to this uh, phone call? Uh, well, I don't think it's hooked up for outgoing calls, oh. but um, okay. Well, I'm just gonna call uh, Trevor. Can oh do that, yes, right? yeah. hello. <laughs> oh, um, I was just checking to see uh, what your price on a box of nine millimeter ammo was. <laughs> oh, oh, you don't have any? No. no. You haven't had any for months? No, no, exactly. Okay. Oh, something about a global pandemic and an ammo shortage. Got it. Got it. What about 556? Five, five, What's your price on that? Oh, you don't have any? Okay, okay, okay. I just, uh, but I assume that all of your new and used guns are protected by like a guarantee. No, not at all. Oh, I'm just totally screwed if I buy a gun from you and it doesn't work right? Oh, okay. All right. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll call back. All right. Glad your, we got to the bottom of that. How'd your phone call go, yeah, dude? Yeah, it was good. It was I good. Know, I don't know if you heard it, but it, it sounded like he said your mom was ugly. Yeah. I, I might have caught, caught something in there, but I was too busy over here planning out like, my, my... What kind uh, of gun store does that? Yeah. I mean, the, 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 definitely the not The kind that doesn't one. have 9 millimeter 5.56 five, right. in, that's for sure. Yeah. All right. Are you, you ready know, to rock out? I've been feeling like there's something just missing a little bit to the. Uh, well, we've intro. been talking about it. No, guys. Well, I've we've been, been talking about I've it. I've been practicing. D- doesn't it seem like there's just like musically just. I feel like it could be like a. I have ding, been ding, practicing ding. the triangle. Oh, no. We don't really need. I mean, I guess no, we. No, no. I will. I don't know. I, there's no reason that we can't spice things up. Yeah. Okay, I can I play with you guys? You can be in the band. All right. Yes. Yeah. Sweet. All right. Hey. All right. Nice. Logan, wait, wait. Logan's I was going to make show band. sure that he's available on all the dates of our current gigs. Okay. Mm. I'll send you over the calendar now. Are you wide open? 
nights. Wednesday Super. nights. Uh, uh, Wednesday Bunko oh. night. We're gonna need you uh, at the Wednesdays. senior center. Uh-huh. I can't play Wednesday nights in every month except all the upcoming months. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, all right. But so I was thinking, be a um, just a little some off the top of my head. But when you guys are rocking out that voicemail part, I was thinking I was like I'd do like a like ding ding with the triangle, you know, like a little ding ding, uh, just like a little not not a big ding ding. We're I'm talking not really, like a, I'm not really vibing with you're that. You just gonna ding. show up and start so telling you, us what we need to be doing. You're already a God, diva. I'm just trying to help you guys with the show. You know what, man? The, the I'm not out. okay with it. You're out, out of the band. I've been you kicked out of the band. You're out of the band. I've been practicing. No, it doesn't matter. You go start your own gun shop show band and write your own check in the voicemail song, then you can ding it up all day long. Are you guys serious right yep. now? Yep. Mm-hmm. You're out of the band. Count me in. You're lucky you're lucky we let you stay in the show. You ready? Let's do this. A one. A two. A one. A two. A three. A four. Man. Woo! That was hot! That was hot, dude. The way you hit that third note, you was like, I don't want you guys to talk to me for the rest of the segment. I didn't break a string. No, not you know, one string. I figured out why. Mm-hmm. Why is that? Maple syrup. Oh, yeah. You're yeah. gonna want to get that maple syrup you're so, on them strings. You're dipping in you're dipping in maple syrup yeah. now? That's pretty cool, man. I That's, never even thought about that. No, it's something to do with the vibrations. You know, man, I played music for a long time. I broke a lot of strings. You want to guess which string I broke the most of? The vocal string. The G string. And I bet it was because I didn't uh, dip it in maple syrup. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That thing often popping. I, I just think it would have been better with a little triangle action. That's all I'm saying. That's why you're not in the band. <laughs> That's why you're kicked out. Hey, Logan, you know what? On you second thought, you know what thought? we should do. You, you know what we should. Do? Hey, Logan. Yeah, go ahead. Go you can on. come back in the band. I'm back in the band. You're kicked out of the band. Sweet. You kicked uh, out of the band. Can we check the voicemail now? Yeah, my name is Mark, calling from Joplin. Just curious, uh, when you think you're going to be uh, moving into your new store, and what the heck are y'all going to do about the parking? Good luck. Thanks. Love the show. He loves the show. Yeah, what are we going to do? Legitimate question. When are we going to move into the new place, bro? When's that happening? We're working on it. Er night and er day. Er day? What about um, er midday? So, in the building, there was a bunch of ugly pegboard and, like, plaster on the walls, like, mm-hmm. cigarette smoke colored. That's pretty gross. Uh, we are demolishing that, so we're getting it back to the brick Mm-hmm. Which is going to be super cool. We took the old, t- it, ha- it had like the VCT tile, like the you had in your elementary school. It doesn't really matter if you're listening to this show. Um, the the tile that was in your elementary school is what was in there, like the your gray, local elementary yeah, school off-white, flavor, off white. So we stripped all that up. We've been sanding down what we found. Ironically, mm-hmm. topically, white maple. Hardwood floors. They covered them up? Yeah, with that tile. So we're stripping off all this nasty black mastic and getting ready. Uh, So it's just a matter of when we get that done, we'll move on the Gun Shop Show. Kids are curious by nature. Do your part to prevent unwanted tragedy from striking in your home by doing these simple tasks. Consider gun locks and or gun safes for storage of firearms. Don't leave your guns unattended where children could reach them. Discuss with your children the rules of firearm safety. Sign your kids up for hunter safety classes. Firearm safety in the household is your responsibility. Do your part to prevent unwanted tragedy from striking in your home. For more information, visit jaspercountysheriff.org. The Gun Shop Show costs money to make. And the Gun Shop Show is brought to you by pecans and cheese. Not really. Actually. We didn't have any sponsors for this segment. And so I decided that I would take a snack break. And also, I decided if you guys are tired of listening to me eat cheese and nuts, that you need to buy an ad. So from now on, if our ad sponsorships don't sell out, you're going to have to listen to me eat nuts and cheese. In order to sponsor the Gun Shop Show, send us an email at thegunshopshow 
at gmail.com. Next week, chips. Hey, Adam and Lauren. Uh, thanks for jumping on here so we can make an ad for the show. Yeah, absolutely. We're huge Second Amendment advocates and a big support of the Liberty Tree and the Gun Shop Show. All right. So for the ad, we're going to want to go over what you offer. We do all the standard auto, home insurance, life insurance. We also do a lot of rental property, whether that be commercial rental or residential duplexes, apartment complexes, single family dwellings. And we have specialty policies for all your firearms. Well, you have commercial coverage on my uh, rental properties, so we can put that in the ad too. And I was thinking that we'll talk about how you're big supporters of the store and how you come in the store pretty much every day on your lunch break and buy guns. Maybe don't mention the everyday thing because my wife does watch the show, but we've been known to come in occasionally every once in a while. All right, guys, I think that we have everything we need to make an ad. So once I get it done, I'll give you guys a holler to check it out. Trevor, don't put it in the ad, but those guys are in here literally every day on their lunch break. The High Winds Drifter. Guns, rifles, shotguns, showguns, High Winds has them, you can win them. It's the All-American Gun Giveaway at High Winds Casino. Three giveaway nights and five winners each night. Earn entries now and be at High Winds on September 19th when you can win a rifle or shotgun from Henry, Ruger, Mossberg, and Brownie. Then pick up your new gun at Liberty Tree Guns in Carthage. It's the All-American Gun Giveaway, only at High Winds Casino, just east of Miami on Highway 10. High Winds has them, you can win them. The Gun Shop Show, brought to you by Little Old Ladies. They're little, and they're old. They're little old ladies. Welcome back to the Gun Shop Show. We have just been checking our voicemail Mm -hmm. and doing our thing, which is being your friends in the gun business. Mm -hmm. Takes a lot of work to be friends in the business. (sighs) Takes a lot of work to be in the gun business Mm -hmm. right now. I tell you what, I'm tired. You're tired? Are you plum tired? I'm plum tuckered out. You dog tired? You you plum tuckered out? Yeah, but um, before the end of the show, we're going to get into more of this giant shipment. If you came in in the last few weeks and you were like, man, those shelves look a little low, Mm -hmm. that's because they were. They were. But we've been working all week, filling them back up. Mm -hmm. Fortunate to have big shipment. Crazy deals, too. Um, Yeah. How crazy. Guns that you wouldn't expect to get in. But I had a message, uh, a a post in the fan group, Mm -hmm. and a guy just tuned in and said... I think he saw one of our segments on making sure that you had representation for you. Yeah. Okay. Um, if you're involved in a self defense situation, he said, as, as long as you follow the law, you don't really need an attorney. Right. And I thought, mm. that reminds me of a story <laughs> of why that's not always true. In an ideal world, yep. maybe. But here's a story of a woman who did just that and watch what happened. My ears heard it and my eyes saw him, but it didn't click that this is reality. And I said, is this a joke? Hi, my name is Joyce. I'm a member of US Law Shield. This is my story. Uh, I was en route from one of my properties back to my home. Uh, and as I was driving, I saw a car come from my left. They ran a stop sign and ran the boulevard. And at the same time, I laid on the horn to let them know that I was there. At which time I see her come around me and block my path. She pulled her car in front of my car, so I had to stop again. She got out of her car and started towards me, at which time my reflexes, I pulled my pistol, which is holstered, I pulled it out of my purse and put it in my lap. She got out of her vehicle and took a picture of my truck, the license plate and everything. Uh, She continued towards my vehicle and I looked in my rear view mirror when I saw there was no traffic. I saw an escape route and thought that better than letting her get up to my vehicle. So I put my vehicle in reverse. I went around her as fast as I could up to the traffic light. A week later to the day, I get a phone call on my cell phone from a detective. 
and she asked if I had been involved in a traffic altercation on October 5th, and I said, yes, ma'am, I had. She read the complaint to me. The uh, lady said that uh, after I honked at her, I pulled around beside her and rolled my window down and yelled profanities at her uh, and pulled my weapon and shot two times and then drove off. I said, absolutely not. I said, if you will give me an address where you are or where I can take this gun, I will stop what I'm doing. I will bring it to you right now. I will surrender the weapon for whatever testing you need to do. The gun has not been fired in four months. I said, I really would like to bring this gun now. I offered three times. She said, I'll be back in touch with you. And that was October 12th. November 27th at 10.30, I heard my dogs barking in a way that wasn't a normal bark of someone walking by or something, and I told uh, the gentleman that I needed to go downstairs and see what was wrong with the dogs. So I went down the attic stairway, I went outside, at which time there is a SWAT officer with a gun drawn, asked if I was who I was, and I said, yes, he said, get your hands up. And my ears heard it and my eyes saw him, but it didn't click that this is reality. And I said, is this a joke? And at which time he commanded me in a sterner voice to get my hands up, which I did. Uh, they asked me if I was involved in a traffic incident on October 5th, and I said yes. Another officer came from around where I had, couldn't see him, and he said, put your hands behind your back, put your hands in a praying, and he put cuffs on me in my front yard. There were four police vehicles and eight officers, and Four police vehicles is going to draw every neighbor, even the ones in wheelchairs, out into the yard. Uh, she doesn't look like your typical aggravated assault with a deadly weapon suspect. Um, and she was, you know, very shaken by the process. You know, you go your whole life without being arrested, and then suddenly you're treated like, you know, one of the worst people in the world. And so to see someone, you know, her age, the whole system, you know, truth, tr truth justice in the American way, and to have that kind of flipped on its head and now the tables have turned on her, um, she was very, very uh, disgusted by how she'd been treated up until this point. I was handcuffed in the back of this police car and they put a camera on me and uh, they drove me to the city jail or the city, it was a tank. They took me out of the car and they took the cuffs off and they fingerprinted me and they took a mugshot. Uh, I was released the following evening about 7.30 and uh, I waited until the following morning about 8 or 8.30 and I called uh, U.S. Law Shield. Um, her case was an ideal candidate to um, get it to a grand jury and stop it as soon as possible. Um, and so knowing that based off what I knew off that initial report, you know, we had our first court date. I was advised by my attorney to make myself available the day that my case came up on the grand jury docket, uh, that he had prepared a, an in-depth packet with all of the information uh, and with the notation that I was available outside if they needed to speak to me, which they did indeed decide to do and I was in there 12 minutes. Uh, they thanked me and excused me and told me to go sit down outside. And eight minutes later, the assistant district attorney came out and said that they had no bill the case. Sorry. If U.S. Law Shield had not been there and had this law firm and this attorney at my disposal, it would not have it would not have come to a close as quickly as it did i did not have to worry about how am i going to pay for this how what is this bill going to add up to i never had to worry about that there was plenty of other things that had my mind uh, tied up but 
that was the best, the best phone call I could have ever made. So there is evidence that you can have done nothing wrong and still the system. I can't believe the time that went by. Like That's this, crazy. I know, right? <laughs> and uh, I'm sure she came and went from her house daily. Mm-hmm. They could have just at any point stopped and casually contacted her, but unfortunately the paper probably said weapons charge, so they mm-hmm. went in yeah. with the SWAT team. Uh, but thankfully U.S. Law Shield was legal protection for her self-protection. You can get U.S. Law Shield for just ten ninety five a month, and you can get two months for free when you use the promo code Liberty Tree and get your rate locked in for a lifetime. It's been a pleasure over the last 18 months serving both the Mount Vernon and the Carthage community with all their wireless needs, whether that's small business or keeping your family connected. Visit us at 100 George E. Phelps Boulevard, Carthage, Missouri, or 417-317-6342. If you need a simple upgrade to add a line or need help with a plan change, come by and let one of our representatives help you out. Our Mount Vernon location is located at 318 West Mount Vernon Boulevard. Our phone number is 417-737-9669, or you can visit our Facebook page at Verizon Wireless Mount Vernon. We have all the accessories for your favorite models, such as the S20 Ultra, maybe it's the 11 Pro Max, or the Google Pixel 4. For just a simple plan change, an upgrade, or to add a new line to your account, stop by one of our convenient locations or check us out on social media. To get connected or stay connected to Verizon Wireless, the nation's best network. Thank you. We will see you soon. Hey everybody, Eli here, and I'm really excited to tell you that The Gun Shop Show is brought to you by one of my favorite places on Earth. Located here in my hometown of Carthage, on the beautiful historic square, the Emporium on the Square, and the Woodshed. It's a art gallery, an event center, a gift shop, they have art classes, and there's very unique Americana artwork from famous artists like Andy Thomas. They handle a lot of his original framing. Just has this incredible old school vibe, and you can feel the history coming through through have to check out the art gallery but then as you work your way to the back my favorite part the woodshed had a lot of great meals in here they've got burgers i love their catfish excellent chicken and waffles even it's incredible and it's also a music venue so we got to see my favorite band of all time the ben miller band ceiling was literally raining down they were rocking so hard but the best thing owned by one of my favorite people on earth that's cherry babcock check out the emporium on the square and the woodshed Hey podcast listeners and live stream viewers, I wanted to let you know that the Gun Shop Show is made possible by our friends at MidAmerica RV. Being in the customer service industry, I have a really high standard for how customers are treated. MidAmerica RV does it right. I've got my RV through their dealership and I've taken it all over the country. Uh, we made it to South Padre Island. We've gone to Colorado several times. And if you've ever owned an RV, you know there's a lot that comes with it. So who you get it from matters and it's extremely important that you have support after the sale Uh, they're located just outside of Carthage they have a really vast inventory and they are home of I believe they call it a forever warranty so I urge you if you're in the market for one to check them out Uh, it's a really fun and can be very affordable way to get your trips in so visit them at midamericarv.com we appreciate their support of the gun shop show if you're in the market for a travel trailer or fifth wheel check out midamerica RV. Land is everything to me. Uh, when I was born, I was brought home to the family farm, uh, was raised, learned work ethic there, learned uh, appreciation and respect for life and the land itself, and it just became second nature. I had to be there all the time. Whenever I wasn't on the land, I was not happy. But I learned to understand the land, learned to respect it, you know, learned family values. You know, my wife and I have bought a farm uh, besides the one we live on, and uh, it has just been a, it's been a great investment, and it's been some place that my son and I have shared the passion of hunting together, and you know, it's just it li- uh, you know, land has been you know land has been everything in my life. It, it has kind of kept, kept me focused and, and uh, gave me a place to be. It's kind of kept me grounded.
Hey, you know what makes this The Gun Shop Show possible? It's people who believe in the show. And someone who has believed in the show from the very beginning is my good friend Chris Chapman, owner of Whitehead Farm Supply. Here's a message from Chris. Guys, uh, my name's Chris Chapman, uh, owner of Whitehead Farm Supply. And uh, I just want to take a few seconds here to let you know that we are going to be uh, proud sponsors of The Gun Shop Show. And uh, we, we appreciate everything that them guys are doing over there. And we just want to show them our support. Thank you. So whether you have two chickens or 2,000 acres, Chris is your man. Give him a call. I guess that's pretty much the ad. Whitehead Farm Supply. Seriously? Welcome back on the Gun Shop Show. This is a little bit of an unorthodox version of the Gun Shop Show because Mm -hmm. we've been so busy all week unpacking a massive truckload of guns and ammunition. So many. Tons. Tons. Uh, And we've also been checking our voicemail, which Mm -hmm. I think we should get right back to. Yeah. Yeah. But we should remind our listeners... Yeah, give us a little, little ringy dingy. That if you would like to ask any question, Mm -hmm. make any statement... Or apparently do any uh, unique character voices. Mm-hmm. Yes. We did not necessarily. We said anything goes. Yeah. And that's what we've gotten. <laughs> but all you have to do is call. 208-918-1776. What was that number again? It was 208-918-1776. Cool. Give us a call anytime and leave a voicemail and we may just put it on the show just like this one hey guys bart from golden city wondering if uh what you guys think about compensators yes no how effective are they different calibers thanks um is a compensator like a uh a porsche or something like when you're in your 50s and you're uh you're having some issues and you want a porsche no he's talking yes. about a firearms what? compensator <laughs> no. Um, Good thing you guys are here. <laughs> you are thinking about uh, when people drive a great big jacked oh, up truck. Yes, thank you. Yeah. Thank you for helping both the caller and me. Yeah, yeah, on that's when you're thinking eight, of on the gun when you need Two, zero, a compensator eight, 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 to compensate for something. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I had a customer that drove one of those trucks. Mm-hmm. I'm talking like the floorboard above waist level. Yeah. Um, tires probably hip level mm-hmm. wow. and you know what he did took it off sweep jumps no he said he came in mm-hmm. and said when are you going to get that pothole in the <laughs> lot fixed and like, I was like bro <laughs> why do you drive that truck if this right. pothole is jamming you up right. you think it's possible that those big old tires might be causing some of those potholes well, that's yeah. true probably yeah, Actually, thanks a lot you know what we figured truck out driver what, what, guy uh, our our regulars are going to know the pothole we're talking about. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a one certain pothole. You know what we figured out it's from? The Grand Canyon? No, it's oh. uh, our FedEx driver parks in the same spot. And then oh, instead of pulling it. away and then turning, if you watch uh-huh. him in the morning, he sits there and cranks the wheel and it just oh, digs it just, a hole in yeah. that asshole. Well, it. maybe we should send FedEx a bill. Yeah, maybe we should. We FedEx, should. come fix our parking lot. Please. But those compensators, though, let's... let's okay, let's talk about let's compensators. Talk about let's compensators. Talk compensators. So compensators, about what is a compensator, Logan? It is uh, kind of like a muzzle brake in that it compensates for the recoil of the gun to reduce it. Yeah, so we were showing off the flash hider on mm-hmm. this suppressor. So a lot of people might confuse muzzle brake, compensator, flash hider, uh, ported barrel. And that is because they're not... Uh, entirely different. They are versions of the same thing. Mm -hmm. So when you pull the trigger on a gun, Mm -hmm. you have sparks admitted in the primer. Yeah. And they ignite the powder. Yeah. uh And the powder burns Mm -hmm. very rapidly. Oh, yeah. More rapidly than we can perceive. Right. And that's when we get what we view as an explosion. Exploding. Last week, Jay Explode. from Pew Science explained this phenomenon where you have a shock wave. An accelerated it, event. Yeah, really, yes. molecules are piling on top of each other, and that's driving the 
the projectile out of the barrel. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And when it leaves the muzzle, it has a lot of energy. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously. Oh, yeah. And that can have an effect on the gun. In fact, generally speaking, that recoil backwards when you fire a handgun results in muzzle rise. So yep. as that oh, okay. goes back, you have this action, right? Right, right. What a compensator does is has ports, and I, I wish I had one. I don't know. Does if it we, redirect? Do we, anything? do we have a canic or anything with a compensator? I want to take. I a, don't think so. I want to take a guess at this. Does it redirect the gases in a different way to offset the recoil? Yeah, Bingo. exactly. That's exactly. Uh, exactly. Basically, I'm basically a genius. <laughs> <laughs> it's the glasses. Um, okay, yeah. so his question was: Are they good or bad? Um, you have because it's a simple matter they're not magic they don't undo recoil what they do is they push against the recoil Mm -hmm. to help reduce the muzzle climb um now are they good or not they do make some difference however i think it depends on the application yeah Yeah. for personal defense Mm -hmm. i don't think that they're practical because they add length to the gun. They yep. add weight to the gun. Yep. And for most calibers, uh, you're still going to have plenty fast follow-up shots. Mm-hmm. However, if you are doing competition shooting where it is timed, and so accuracy and timing right. are calculated Absolutely. to um, determine who is the most proficient shooter, then portions of seconds make a difference. And yeah. on... 40 caliber, 45, 10 millimeter, uh, those follow-up shots are, they make a difference. And I think one of the times that we were out, we teleported potted out to the range. Yeah. Right. You mentioned how it was, seemed a little more difficult to be as accurate with the 10 millimeter. Mm-hmm. And part of that is a lot of times the grip size. You're dealing with a bigger gun, so it's yep. going to fit differently in your hand. The uh, grip angle might be a little different, and so the point of aim is different. But it's that recoil that moves the gun off of your point of aim mm-hmm. so much. So if you're doing any kind of shooting where you either want to or need to for the requirements of the shooting, have quick follow-up shots, compensators can uh, make a big difference. I, I have a I have a question sure. about that. Now, the compensator, uh, it goes on the end of the barrel? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. And you can put those on uh, handguns and long guns? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. How do they go? Do they screw on like a threaded barrel? Yeah, exactly. So you have to have a threaded barrel to put that on then? Yes. Yeah, so I guess there's no other way. Uh, there are some that attach via the bottom rail of the gun. Those aren't as widely used. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's aftermarket attachments that mm-hmm. would go like on a, on a rail, and then it would still do the same thing. So the projectile would go through the compensator and yeah. be yeah. directed. Um, and there so, are some that are they're built into the barrel that way. Mm-hmm. Um, I've even seen some that are clamp on. I don't know how practical those are, but um, like this flash hider, the design of that, just like a compensator is going to direct the gases um, upward to compensate for muzzle rise. A flash hider would be the idea that we want to conceal as much of that muzzle flash. So the yeah. actual burning that comes out is divided up uh, in the case of this SIG uh, to diminish its visual effect. And it reduces your signature. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So uh, it depends on the application. Uh, which way you want to direct it. Yeah. High-powered rifles, mm-hmm. instead of directing that up, they direct it all back mm-hmm. because you're, the, the rifle is already going to want to drive against you, which means right. the gases are pushing out. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. So they direct those back toward you to help compensate for some gotcha. of the recoil. Um, but So it almost propels the firearm just a little bit forward. It, yeah, it at least to offset. yeah, it offsets it. And then... But one of the things is you're going to feel less on your shoulder, but when you stand there, you feel that blast because oh, it's yeah. turning those gases back to oh, toward yeah. you. So that percussion, that thump that you get when you're standing next to someone who fires a gun, which actually that percussion feeling is stronger for the person standing. Obviously, you wouldn't stand downrange, but standing no. even adjacent, mm-hmm. uh, you may feel more of that percussion 
compared to the shooter because that shock wave coming out, whether you're using a compensator or not, yeah. is going to come out of the end of the muzzle and expand out to the side. So if you're standing right. here, you're going to feel it more than you would as the shooter. But when you shoot one, like a high powered rifle with a muzzle brake, mm -hmm. the shooter feels a lot of that too. And it's, it's a trade off. You're shooting a 300 wind mag and it's going to thump your shoulder. Mm -hmm. You might take a little more of that percussion. So right. they all have their intended purposes, flash hiders, muzzle brakes, compensators. Uh, when you shoot a 45 uh, uh, ACP and you're trying to shoot it quickly, absolutely will find the value in a compensator. It's also a part that I see a lot like hood scoops and spoilers on cars. <laughs> yeah, like, hey, no spoilers, man. You want to uh, have that look like you've got a hot rod yeah. when it may or may not be true. Mm -hmm. We'll be right back. Hey everyone, The Gun Shop Show is brought to you by Carthage Lock and Key. If you need anything to do with a lock or a key... To success! Did they tell you to say that? No, I, I just thought it sounded good. They have a mobile service, so they can come to you and cut pretty much any kind of key. To success! Or if you lock your keys in your to car... To success! I'm talking even security modern chip keys. To success! Trevor, could you just, just jingle the name of the uh, business? Okay. 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 Yeah, I'll do it good this time. So, with all of my properties and all of the needs I have, I trust... Carthage Lock and Key! To success! Hey folks, I had to learn the hard way that a good home inspection makes a difference when you're buying a home. Our new sponsor, All Points Inspections, can provide just that. Here's a message from Corey from All Points Inspections. Hey guys, uh, Corey Hines here, uh, owner of All Points Inspections. Up on a roof right now, currently doing a roof inspection, checking for leaks, but I am excited to announce that I am a new sponsor with the Gun Shop Show. Those guys are awesome over there. It's been kind of a Saturday morning routine for me now to join in on the conversations. Uh, just a bunch of good group of guys all around, followers, watchers. Check them out. If you guys need home inspections, give me a call. 417-439-9229. Thank you. Welcome back to the Gun Shop Show. We are just now getting to one of the two guns that you brought back on your last trip out with the Pro Outfitters mobile cam. Mm -hmm. And that was one of them there, Hellcats. Oh, man. Spent you know what? Hellcat. I'm hearing so much about those Hellcats. I think I want a Hellcat. Uh... Let's, Trevi wants a you Hellcat? just switched to one of the biggest competitors. <laughs> yeah, of the you Hellcat. did. I know, but I hear about both of them, and I want both. I want one for each hand. Yeah, you know. That's well, smart. That's smart uh, thinking. When like you're that. looking at a nine millimeter this size, mm -hmm. look at this. Look, it's smaller than my face. Yeah, that has, you have a huge face too. <laughs> yeah, I know. That has like look a, at what? that. This thing can exist Six just seven on rounds. my forehead you and not even take up any of the rest of my face. Bro, I can't even tell it's there. I mean, that, it? that's a small gun and a big forehead. It's a small mm -hmm. blemish on your forehead. 11 rounds of 9 millimeter in that tiny package in the Springfield Hellcat. That's a lot of firepower. Mm -hmm. I'm going to stop you right there. Stop him. Uh, I think that has 13 right rounds of 9 millimeter. Uh, what? 13? Is that with the plus one? This is not the 13 round mag. It comes with uh, 13. You go ahead and stop me right there. You go ahead and stop me right there. You, you just got you, served, I was stop, I was trying to stop myself. Yeah, they have 13 know. round mags available. Uh, the one in this flush mount one is 11 rounder, but uh, the 13 round is still very, very small. Mm -hmm. 13 rounds of 9 millimeter is... Nothing to stick, uh, shake, mm -hmm. shake, no stick, way, stick a shake at. Um, I, stick a sh what's Glock's uh, version of the Hellcat 365? Uh, it's a great what's question. The, so, they're they're question. hot. What's a good what's the Glock? Like, one? Let me they, stop you right there. <laughs> they don't. Uh, they don't have one. They well, don't. they do. Uh, the 43X and the 48. 
which yeah. what do you mean forty three X and so they release it as the competitor, but it's bigger and it holds less rounds. Uh, oh, so you remember when I said, "Hey, mm-hmm. Glock is uh, this is the beginning of the end of are Glock." They, are they MySpace and right now? Yeah, They're they are. Um, so what they thought they could do is like the. Fast and Furious series. No, just I don't even doing, know where this is going. Just keep like, doing the same thing. Uh-huh. People, people, number eight, people, people, number nine, number ten, oh, number eleven. Right, right. No slowing down. Mm-hmm. Turns out it's more like uh, MySpace. Yeah. If they don't, if they don't get come around, they're gonna be no more. Maybe they should take the XFL way and the uh, Fast and the Furious way. Get the Rock involved. Maybe that would have been a better idea. spokesman mm-hmm. than Chuck Norris. Chuck the Morris. Rock, yeah. The guy that right? never uses his gun right? is the spokesman him. for the gun company. Well, according to my uh, 400 Facts About the World's Greatest Man, he doesn't need a gun. <laughs> yeah, the Glock's like, Those the gun for the man that doesn't really need one. They're like, mm-hmm. Glock. It's, it's the Glock 40, 43 roundhouse kick. So while, the roundhouse kick X. While I like Glock as a brand... Their newest product is literally a retread of their first Gen 1 Glock. That's why you like them? Yeah. Which, no, 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 no. I liked them because they, they were oh. the first to do a successful polymer firearm, but not hmm. kind of. And they make uh, a good product. They do. It's a good gun. They're reliable. It's just that yeah. when they release a new product, it's already been done several times by someone else. So it was innovative back when they released it, and now I feel... And this, this happens in every industry where people, they... This is what's always worked, you know, yeah. and then something comes around and changes consumers' minds. Yeah, mm-hmm. and these uh, old old ways they try to just well, this is work for us. We're not going to change it. Yeah. yeah, sometimes they live a long life that way, and I think Glock will. I'm joking when I say that it's right. the beginning of the end. Well, I'm sure they it's have the beginning the of the end of them being top dog yeah it's not the end of the company they're still gonna sell a lot of them we still sell a ton of them the 19s the 17s um oh, the the, fantastic guns mm-hmm. and and competitive in those spaces mm-hmm. when you get into the micro carry guns that's it, where they need to step it exactly. up exactly right you can get a 43x uh and then ironically though you have to buy an aftermarket shield arms holster uh, uh mm-hmm. magazine to hold how many in the shield 15 15 in the which so. is awesome in a package that small yeah but you have to buy an aftermarket mag why yeah. can shield arms do it and and the feedback is those are super reliable mm-hmm. um why could they do it and glock was unwilling to i don't know glock what's the deal what's the deal get it together come glock. on the show oh, glock why don't you have an god. ar out yet so why don't you come, everyone else has why don't you come on the gun shop show glock is letting me down and explain yourself yeah you got some explaining to do okay we need to check this voicemail okay Yes, I was interested in what you had in Class 3 weapons for sale and the prices, and you can call me back at area code 620 Don't play his number. Don't play his number. All right, and that was the end of him. Oh, he was going to. It's 1, 2, 3, 4. <laughs> I wonder if he knows that that is the show <laughs> number. There's no way that at some point we don't get, like, a pizza order or something. Yeah, right. so um, just I don't know if he meant to be on the show. Uh, he may have been. <laughs> well, he is now. <laughs> so Thanks the, for calling. The gun shop show voicemail phone numbers 208-918-1776. Yep. And Super we're going to answer your question on the show whether mm-hmm. you meant for us to or not. Mm-hmm. Uh, but remember, you can always call the show. or I'm sorry, call the store, 417-358-5700. Do we have a jingle for that? You can also... No, we don't. <laughs> uh, we need one. You can also go to libertytreeguns.com and search all of our inventory live. Everything that you see on the show is available to be purchased on mm-hmm. the website. It's also available to be shipped. I'm amazed at how many people are like, can you ship these? All we do all day is get stuff ready to be shipped all over the country. Mm-hmm. Um, so we leave at night and the website takes over and is selling guns all night long. All night like long. crazy. And then the next day we are uh, shipping those out to... Shipping fools. Uh, mm-hmm. Those customers. Crazy ship of fools. We mm-hmm. have customers in all 50 ship states. Uh, but it's time to fire up the uh, the mm-hmm. Pro mobile Outfitters cam. mobile cam. Let's show off some Class 3. I don't know if we can show everything exclusively, but we can certainly show some. Yeah, let's show some. the... 
We have some transferable machine guns. Machine guns. You guys ready? Yeah. Let's do Go. it. Oh, Let's look at that. Oh, man. You know, you know it's uh, so how smooth. How about this Vickers right here? Yeah, show the Vickers. Yeah. Show him the Vickers. Don't make us seasick. Make it, he's so, he walks so elegantly. It must be the ballet lessons. This is a British water-cooled machine gun. Mm-hmm. Uh, comes on the tripod. So imagine a rotating... Uh, it like almost reminds you of like a Gatling gun in style. I'm trying yeah. to describe it for the right, radio right. listener. You hold two handles, uh, you know, right in the middle, and then mm-hmm. you press in with your thumbs and uh, fire the gun. Mm-hmm. So this is a transferable machine gun. You can own this thing. Uh, I want to say the price tag. Do you have the price tag there, Logan? Wasn't it like eighteen? I'm pretty sure it's eighteen. Yeah, um, and not and that's eighteen thousand. Eight, not eighteen dollars. All right, Logan. Let's go over and check out some of the other machine guns we have in inventory. And we check still out. have that Tommy gun. I think we sold the Tommy gun. Oh um, man, I could be wrong, but he'll double check as we proceed through the store. Look at those shells with ammo on them. Oh, man. Look at ammo. Gosh, look at all those guns we got now. So many guns it's, and so many ammos. It's hard to believe. It's so beautiful. We uh, are a little behind on photographing yeah. used guns because yeah. every single used gun we get in, we uh, photograph, write a description, and post it on LibertyTreeGuns.com. On but we had such a big shipment. <laughs> that literally stuff was piled. Yeah, the station where we do that was covered. Yeah. Uh, is that like a Galil? I think that's a Galil. Let's is see. that Galil White? Get me on the... Uh, let's get me on there. Nope, I'm let that one go. Oh, it is Galil. Uh, <laughs> You're just going to let that one fade into Is that $21,000? Now, people might be a little confused about the price oh, on these transferable it, machine guns. You can get similar semi-auto versions for a tenth of the price, these are a few of a finite amount of transferable, coll- highly collectible mm-hmm. machine guns that private citizens can own. You can own a full auto machine gun. Um, there's a little bit of a background check uh, process, but you can do that and you can uh, get access to several of these beautiful machine guns. That is, uh, remind me what that one is, Logan. I can't That's quite. That's the Uzi, isn't it? No, it's not an Uzi, but it's, it's similar. It's like a Mac. It's uh, covered up by the mobile cam. The it's oh, there we go. Experimental. Oh, that was the. Uh, yep, the M11. The, yeah. Oh, it's 380. That was the deal with that. It's 380. Mm-hmm. Uh, Nine thousand five hundred ninety-five dollars, um, and that exact gun is in a book on uh, M11 machine guns. Like not. Didn't the guy who made that? gun write that book or something yeah that is the book and that is the gun that's printed in the book as, oh yeah that's yeah as okay. one of the only examples i knew there was some little thing that mike told us about that yeah so and if you're interested in machine guns uh, in particular go back to episode number two. two it was two uh with machine gun mike and, and then uh we also did for uh, bonnie and clyde we yeah. went over the vickers and that uh, particular firearm machine yeah. gun mike will be someone else who will have back on the show oh getting uh, a little uh, shot uh, of that uh, nine uh, millimeter on the pro outfit is blazer where's where's taser all right you and are laser. going to want to stick with us because we are going to shift over into the shover drive mm-hmm. so if you've been hanging out on the radio this whole time tv's come and gone all of this is come and gone. We've got a little more of this shipment that I want to show you. Oh, we should look at those. You can join us. Oh, there's some more class three. Oh, Those talking suppressors. suppressors right there. We'll go over the suppressor counter, how to get a suppressor, um, some of the many suppressors that we have in stock in the show overdrive. That's the overflow. You can go find it. Go to facebook.com slash Liberty Tree Guns or just search Liberty Tree Guns. You'll find us live there. And once you join us, you can... Uh, follow along on this shipment and see just how much fun we have in the Shover Drive. Commercial idea for Netfishes. I walk into the commercial director, well, Colin's office. I say to him, hey, how's it going? He replies, good. We got your commercial ready to go. Are you ready to listen? Yeah, but before I do, I have an idea. I want to flip by you. He says, Okay, a bit sarcastically, and I say, all right, 
and I clear my throat, <clears throat> and I start singing this song, something similar. Net fishes, we're all really good friends, hanging out and stuff, and having memories to talk about when we were young. Snap fishes. And I say the business name wrong, like fish nets. He replies, that's terrible. And you didn't even say the right business name at the end. It's your business. Then it cuts to fish snatches. I mean, nav fishes. Where we can all be friends. And commercial. Buckle up, because belts just got better. With core essentials, the perfect fit every time. With 40 plus sizing positions, styles for any situation. Whether in the boardroom, crushing sails and taking names. On your next adventure, in the great outdoors. Or when you're done for the day and ready to relax. Get your perfect fit with core essentials. Kids are curious by nature. Do your part to prevent unwanted tragedy from striking in your home by doing these simple tasks. Consider gun locks and or gun safes for storage of firearms. Don't leave your guns unattended where children can reach them. Discuss with your children the rules of firearm safety. Sign your kids up for hunter safety classes. Firearm safety in the household is your responsibility. Do your part to prevent unwanted tragedy from striking in your home. For more information, visit jaspercountysheriff.org. This just in, huge cave found beneath the heart of the city. Spelunka shared tales of an underground cavern system in Carthage, Missouri. Locals report the entrance to be at 10th and Garrison. Cave Gang Pizza. Stop in and enjoy wings, wood fire pizza made with local ingredients, and our full bar. Bring the whole gang and uncover a legend. The Gun Shop Show, the Gun Shop Show, what is it? We don't know. The Gun Shop Show, the Gun Shop Show, here we go, it's the Gun Shop Show. Here we go indeed, and it is indeed the Gun Shop Show, but it's not just any old regular part of the show. It's the best part of the show. It's, it's the, the show Showverdrive. Oh, man. I got my new Shover Drive glasses on, This dudes. is where we... We get a lot of glasses, man. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is where we kick off our shoes. Yeah. And we relax a bit. Mm-hmm. I don't know why, we but care I less. expected you to talk like, this is where we kick off our shoes and relax. Yeah, won't you kick off your shoes and stay a while? Mm-hmm. Just hang on. Let's take a shirt. Let's take our shirts off, guys. Yeah, let's do it. You want we a coffee? take our shirts off. Let's get you... Well. Wait, what? Uh... uh I don't want to. Ooh, I don't know if I'll be able to take my shoe off today. Why? You what got, happened? Got some funk? The situation. Wait, hey, uh, this is about your sixth. Toe. I didn't. Th- maybe the show's not the place to tell the to tell you this, but um, you have another foot. Coming you out have three foot. You could take your other shoe off. <laughs> what? Good idea. All right. Yeah, this oh. is a weird, it's a weird place, guys. Oh, I thought you were going with three feet. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> you got another foot. Use your third foot, your, man. Yeah, growing out of the side of your neck. I really uh, love that. You've never I, noticed it. That's why I thought you were going with it. That's too. what I thought. Too. <laughs> but I see what you did there. Yeah. Uh, anyway, what were yeah, we talking my about? Toe. We were yeah, talking about uh, the uh, toe, toe, toe. the class three A. No, stuff. we're talking about his toe. What happened to your toe? Oh, tell him the story about the toad, bro. Tell uh, him what. Tell him how your toe is. Tell him about it. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> that was so you know tome. how tome. normally. <laughs> toe. Mm-hmm. If like, you're imagine that thumb is a toe. Yeah. Okay. So I had mm-hmm. my big toe. Okay. Yeah. And then it's someone small for big came toe, but okay. and they kicked it. Oh, Ooh. on the end, oh. on purpose. It came no. from underneath. Not on purpose, but would be uh, impressive if it was. So it was like a sucker it kick, loose, Ugh. ripped it and flipped it, and folded it inside out and backwards. Oh, jeez, how far above your toe was your toenail standing? The width of half of my toenail. <laughs> so like a quarter inch. 
Wow. More than that. A half inch? Yeah. Wow. I have a picture of it, which I... That is... Man, I wish would, you would have showed it to me. That's actually... Like, I, I want to see it. Do you really want to see it? Well, yeah. Maybe not on the show, but Wait, did, I kind of got to see this. Do the viewers I mean, did I show you what happened to my toe? Basketball is a dangerous sport. I kind of want to see it, too. I don't... I can't even look at the picture of my own toe. That's how cringy it is to me. Really? I just... I don't know, man. I, I uh, have a morbid curiosity. That doesn't mean I want to see the grossest stuff, but I need to see this flip. Uh, Do you want to throw it up here, or you want? No, to... I'm not putting here, it. No. Here, I'll put it on Lo- on me, and then. Well, no, you should put it on Logan <gasps> and see Logan's reaction. Well, Logan's not at his desk right now. We need to reenact. <laughs> this is your toe. <laughs> yeah, that was. This your toe. That was just. Mo- it got bloodier. That was just moments after it happened. <laughs> How? You're like, I can't miss this How opportunity. Did this Playing basketball. That's crazy. Man, I well, when I got my toes stomped, I wish, well, I guess I don't wish, but it just hurt. It's pretty, it hurt like heck. I need a, like a palate yeah. cleanser. You gotta see this. Hi-ya! Hi-ya! That's <laughs> not it natural. Looks, it looks so that's, not, that's unnatural, Kill dude. it. Kill it but with fire. It almost seems like it grew two inches <laughs> it looks- after... After it got stomped on, uh, so it, it hurts toenails aren't it. usually that long, man. Uh, yeah, <laughs> or that direction. You don't um, want to clip that. <laughs> I, I it, it was literally the last play of the last game. Uh huh. Well, and, it, did it just so happen to be, or your last game? No, it was. I was leaving anyway, yeah. and I think they were going to wrap up too because mm-hmm. I was. I made ten, and it, he hits my foot, and I go hopping off, and it hurts really bad Uh and I stand there for like the last play for they make the last shot and then Mm -hmm. it's over and I limp over to the bench Mm -hmm. and I pull my shoe off and I knew when I looked at the end of my sock I was wearing I was wearing black Mm. socks but there's still like a giant uh, you know uh, blood soaking through was your sock up more you could see the bump, like, and then, yeah, it was and, like but this. then but there was <sighs> mostly the big puddle that I could see in the corner. Jeez, if it had been man. white socks, it would have looked nastier. You should have wore white socks. I just, I, I don't know how that happens. How does someone That's get crazy. under your toenail, inside of your shoe, and get it to flip up at a 90 shoes. degree angle? I don't know. Who's your shoe guy? Oh, man. Nike. Yeah. Nike's Ooh, your shoe. You're going to want to get a new shoe guy. Yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. That's why. Mm-hmm. That's why. Yeah, you can get some feels or something, it. man. Do you guys want to talk about guns? We could. Yeah, let's talk about. How we going to talk um, about NFA items? NFA oh items. yeah, class yeah, three great items. Point. You uh, were, uh, mobile cam. Suppress that uh, nail. Uh, do you want to do a mobile cam, or do you just? Why don't you tell us a little bit about the uh, kiosk and how that kiosk. can make your class three dreams come true? Okay, so the kiosk super simple. Once you have your suppressor picked out. We take you over to the kiosk. We get your information. Uh, It's pretty much like filling out a 4473, really. Uh, Your name, address, all that stuff. We'll fill that out. We'll get your fingerprints taken. That in that way, it's a little different. Uh, Take a photo copy of you, a little passport photo. Once we have all that, we throw it over to Silencer Shop. They formulate it. They do this with it. Oh. They put it together. <laughs> well, is that the training they gave you? That's... Yeah, that's what that's what they told me to do. But they do this, and it's a couple claps. Oh, and uh, boom, it, you it, can get it. Yep. Wow. You know the one. Thing I didn't know that, that's how suppressor purchasing oh, happens. Super one easy. Of the mistakes people make is they're like, "Well, I'm going to wait and see." what the mm-hmm. process is before I buy and yeah. then sometimes they have a hard time finding the suppressor they want because it was in stock and now it's out Yeah, just buy the suppressor on the website or come in and pick one out mm-hmm. and here's the thing if you can pass a regular background check to buy a regular gun you're going to pass to get your stamp yep so but if you don't if you buy a suppressor and you pay and you get denied we're going to give you a refund so yep. pick it out now that's another thing, part of the Liberty Tree guarantee. I know other dealers, uh, sometimes I'm in a group of other gun dealers, they will literally keep their customers' money. And they're like, it's what they get for <laughs> not being able to pass background check. Why? Uh, How can they do that? Uh, Don't they have to like provide the service? Mm-hmm. Uh, well, in their mind, they have, and oh. it's your fault that they've, or, you know. Yikes. Uh, a terrible way to do business because yeah. Yeah. what I've found is for the most part, 
anybody that doesn't pass, I'm not saying it's always a misunderstanding, but generally the people who know that they can't pass don't apply Mm -hmm. because they know I have a felony or I have this or that. Yeah. And the ones that do, a lot of times it's a mistake. So I'm going to refund your money, let you go get that worked out and then be there for you in the future. Cause I'm thinking long-term that's the whole point of the Liberty tree guarantee is I'm not caring about whether I make $11 off your sale or $40 profit off of a big gun sale. I'm more worried about, can I be your friend in the gun business? Mm-hmm. Because those relationships, uh, one, they just matter to me. And two, for the long game, I know I'm going to win. Uh, I'm going to win in this market space mm-hmm. uh, by thinking how I would want to be treated. Right. And we don't want to add fuel to all that bad news you just got that, hey, this thing you applied for, you're not going to get it. And we're not going to kick you when you're down and say, you know what? You're not going to get a yeah. refund either. Too bad, sucker. <laughs> yeah. There's guys that do it. It's crazy. I know. It's no. nuts, man. That's no way to do business. And no. thankfully, the market will uh, weed See, them out. Yeah. I know you guys dogged on Q earlier. We weren't we're dogging not, on Q. We were we're dogging on Q. Q. A little bit. No. This is one of the reasons I liked it. I just said stop right there. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't dog. I didn't dog it. This is one of the reasons I liked them. Um, th- I I saw that a guy had a silencer um, that he was trying to take off his gun or take off a mount or something like that. And he had clamped it into a vise and tried to torque it on one end and crush the silencer. The silencer company said, mm, that's your fault. We'll sell you one at a discounted price, but you have to buy another tax stamp, wait another eight months. Q was like, you know what? We're not going to treat you. We want to treat you like that. We'll give you a can and pay for your tax stamp. Oh, dang. They didn't have to do that. To the guy who wasn't even their customer? Yeah. Wow. So you're telling me all I got to (laughs) do. It's first vice. Smash stuff in a a vice. Q's going to hook me up? Well, you know, I think intent matters there. Um, Mm -hmm. But... Well, the... I mean, it would be an accident. Still a good story. Mm-hmm. I mean, it it's still is. good that they would do that for somebody. Do you guys want to break down more guns, or do you just want to? We, you know, I don't want to be that guy, but uh, we should probably. We could talk about that one right there. One more so, gun. You can compromise. One more gun. Okay, one more gun, and then I also one want to say, uh, you need to get in here because stuff's going rate, fast. I mean, uh, it really is. Yeah, I, if you see I know. Something you want, you need to jump on it because we, it's going to be sold out pretty much immediately. It's yeah. pro- it's been selling almost as fast as we can get it in. Yeah, I mean, literally within minutes of mm-hmm. it hitting the system, it's selling either on the floor or on the website, and. You know, we had a customer yesterday. He's like, mm-hmm. what do you mean? I just looked two days ago and it was in stock. Yeah. Like, you think you're the only one looking for an affordable pump shotgun? Well, We're like, yeah, two days ago it was in stock. All Someone these people. it was in stock and I bought it. All these people are setting up notifications so they know when stuff's in stock. Yeah. And then when it comes our, in stock, you got, you we, know, like dogs on meat. We actually trying had to eat a customer. We had a customer that came in and he was like, I got an email from the in-stock notification alert that you guys have a Glock Gen 5 in. And I was like, you know what? We just got one in. And he bought it right there. Wow. Bada bing, <laughs> bada That's pretty cool. Beam. That's why you want to sign up for those alerts. Yeah. yeah. That was uh, the wish list, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So anything, you can browse 50,000 products. Go to the website right now. Trevor, go there. Oh, oh you want me go to? There. Okay. And all uh, the listeners, you go there just too. trying to get there. Um, how That's libertytreeguns.com. Yeah, oh, you oh, want to yeah, you. Yeah, go to www.http colon s, s- Slash, 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 slash. Not, not, those are banana. forward slashes, not reverse slashes. Oh, okay. Are they called reverse uh, slashes? Www All right, we're uh-huh. there. LibertyTreeGuns.com. Uh-huh. Okay, this yep. is what it looks like. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. This is it. Let's uh, let's just pick a category, okay? okay. Let's, uh, let's go firearms, and let's go um, rifles. 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 I'm going to look at some rifles. I call them riffles. Is yeah. that okay? okay. Well, it's, it's the right way. All right, so you're scrolling down. You're seeing... Some in stock, you're seeing some out of stock, right? I hid the out of stock. Okay. So, uh, Can we show the no, out of no, no, stock? Yeah, so the whole point of this is oh, the okay. wish list, oh, right? Gotcha. <laughs> okay, I didn't, I didn't know. Yeah, yeah. So, well, they, uh, these are on wish lists too. But that mm-hmm. is important to note. We're, we're show them where you went to click hide out of stock. It's a little this is on open. the desktop version, by yeah. the way. A little sidebar. Over on the so, left. you can click that. So, if you're on there, and, and right now, I know. There's a lot of things that you wish were in stock that are out of stock. Yeah. That's the whole point of me telling you what I'm about to tell you. Um, so, but, but if you ever want to shop, just what 
what can I actually get for sure? Hit that uh, uh, hide out of stock button. But let's pretend you're looking for a certain gun. So go ahead and unclick the hide out of stock. And let's just be looking around. And as we're going around, I'll just say, uh, uh. What about that bar? Uh, let's Rex keep looking. I'm going to keep looking. I'm going to okay. keep looking. I'm going to, I'm going to know when um, I feel it. Oh, I'm looking for that Savage 110 Elite Precision. Right here? In 338 Lapua. Lapua? Yeah. Lapua Pua? That's a good gun. I don't mean to Lapua on your parade. But it's that's out of Savage. Stock. It's out of stock. It's you a, just Lapua it on my parade. That's out of stock. But then you could say, I want to add this to my wish list. You can add it to your wish list. But you got to log in. You got to log in. You're going to want to make an account anyway, because that's mm-hmm. how you get those freebies. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's, that's correct. Yeah, you're going to run jump on them freebies. Oh, this got that Accu trigger. Yeah. So you click add to wish list. Mm-hmm. And what happens, we have worked hard to connect our website to not only the inventory that's in our store. So mm-hmm. I just want you to get in a sense of this. Mm-hmm. If I'm talking to one of our distributors yep. and I say, yeah, send me, for example, uh, send me five M400 treads from SIG. Yeah. And then they do. Logan doesn't even have to know that they're going to show up. He pops open the box. Mm-hmm. Then what do you do, Logan? You yeah. go ahead and receive it, right? I go ahead and receive it. Yeah, yeah, yeah he puts it right on in there. He does it. I grab it. And right <laughs> then, the website's like, a boop. I know that there's one in stock. Mm-hmm. And if you've put that on your wish list... You're going to get an email right then. Mm, yep. Now, keep in mind, if a hundred other people said that about that gun and we only got one in or we only got two in or we only got five in. That's right. They're all going to be doing the same thing. Yep. You got to strike while the iron is hot. Yeah. Especially important right now in mm, this climate. Especially right now. Do not wait. No. You'll miss out. You, you will miss out. And uh, But that also applies um, from our warehouses. So... Um, something simpler. Let's just say you were looking for a Hellcat. Mm, Cause those are going to be, those are probably going to be physically here, but let's just pick an accessory. Like say you've been looking for a SBA pistol brace, sure. right? Yeah. And that's an item that sometimes we have in store. And sometimes they're a ship to store item. If that warehouse, that mm-hmm. supplier gets that in stock, it's yep. going to activate it as a ship to store item. You're yep. still going to get that email. It's going to say it's in stock now. You can click it. If you're a local, you can choose ship to store. If you're not local, anything that's not a gun, we'll ship it straight to your house. Right that's to true. your front door. Yeah, yeah that's true. Mm-hmm. One thing the viewer should know is that, let's say you sign up for the in stock notifications and you get an email about one, but you're an hour late and you go to the website and it's out of stock, it's probably because it already sold out. Yeah. That's yeah. how fast things are selling out. Yeah. yeah. It can take minutes sometimes. sometimes so if you I see mean, that email, you're going to want to jump on you it. You jump on it as quick as you can. Yeah, for sure. And, you know, a- another thing too is if you put in a special order, mm-hmm. which you can do by calling us, that goes to the front of line of all of that stuff. So in that scenario I just gave you, this SIG M400, even if it's out of stock, when you go ahead and put in a special order and you put money down on it, yeah. then when that shipment comes in, instead of receiving it and that notification going out to everybody that's mm-hmm. in stock, Logan's going to fill those special orders first. Yep. So you can put money down and you you don't have to play that game because that's the order we go in. If you put money down on a special order you're going to get it before anybody else. Regardless. Yeah, you're getting it specially ordered mm-hmm. for you. Yeah, which means that we'll put in the order, and even if we have to fight for it, which some of this inventory we have to go to bat, really, to get. Mm-hmm. And the Octagon. We, and um, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> I, I was going to say our, our distributors will even more, like everybody's going to say, I want Hellcats, because they're yep. hard to get. Mm-hmm. And so every gun shop is telling their supplier, hey, I, give me all the Hellcats you can because I can sell them all. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But if I say, hey, look, I know everybody's begging you for it, but I have a guy that's had money down, uh, you know, regardless of how long you've had it down, this, like at least let me fill this order. Those guys, are, we have those relationships with distributors. Yeah. They know that we spend X amount with them and we have the choice to spend it among other distributors. So the yeah. more they can help us out and us being a high volume dealer, 
we we make that happen pretty successfully pretty frequently and there's a lot of times when it seems like we don't have a certain gun in or we haven't had one in a long time that's not always the case it's usually because we get them in and they're on special orders and we just fill them <laughs> <laughs> you never you never what? see him come to the store because they're already sold yeah i sell before we get them <laughs> yeah exactly i had to cringe to look down and see i thought it was like a suppressor or something no no, no. it was it's just not. Uh, it was his q firearm <laughs> yeah. that's how loud not it was deal. clank uh he knocked that light off the table <laughs> we're not gonna talk all right let's about talk about this gun and then let's do let's split skis all right what gun are we talking about Rock Island VR60. Oh, the VR60. Does that stand for virtual reality? Probably not. Very robust. Oh, does it really stand for very robust? I have no idea. <laughs> oh. It sounded good. Well, it's so I would have believed you. Jax for explanations. Well, I'm curious. <laughs> I man. wonder if you... Uh, uh, Curiosity may have killed the cat. Uh, I wonder but if you like worked for like Chrysler. Mm-hmm. If you'd be like, excuse me, Mr. Chrysler, <laughs> what does LeBaron mean? I would. <laughs> what like, does El Camino that? mean? Well, Camino's the road, bro. Uh, That's what it means. But what's L? Uh, what the? is oh. <laughs> what the is, road? What does Toyota Tercel mean? I want to know. What is Tercel? I don't know, dude. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not asking these questions. You're uh, asking these questions. We work at a gun store, man, and I want to know what these things I'll mean. I'll do my best. I don't mind we you asking. I don't always episode. know the answer. Oh. Well, I just imagine that there's some meaning behind it that I'm not getting. Well, sometimes there is. Uh, so you're pointing at the VR60. Right there. Mm-hmm. She's black beauty. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Got that pistol That's grip. That's an AR. Mm-hmm. And you hear that and you're like, I bet it shoots 5.56. Five, five, I bet it shoots 2.23. Two, I bet it's 3.08. I, I bet, bet it's, it's 300 blackout. No, it's probably like 6.5 Grendel. Oh, uh, what you about 5.7 Grendel? You'd be wrong. It's not... It's Is that 22? It has no. to be one of those calibers. No, it don't. Is that 3.57? Is no, it like a... Like is that BB? pistol? Like a nine millimeter? No. Nope. Three eighty. Nope. Air rifle. BB. Uh, is Pellet. it? It's a five seven. Nope. Jeez, man. Uh, what three. is left? There's no calibers left. Uh, uh, there. There's a twelve gauge shotgun. Rubber band. That wow. right there. Right there behind. That's me. a twelve gauge shotgun. I would not have guessed that. Which is we is didn't, this April first? I didn't guess it. Are you fooling us? I ain't. He ain't fooling. Wow. Me. He wouldn't do that to you. And uh, that's a lot of firepower in a semi auto. So you pack. get How an many rounds? AR 15 platform. Kablack, 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 in a shotgun. Kablack, 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 Take kablack, that duck kablack. hunting? You could. That's yeah. not what it's for, but you could. You should. You put self defense rounds in that. Oh. Guess what wouldn't happen in your neighborhood? Um, crime? <laughs> yeah, probably wouldn't be burning <laughs> stuff down probably if you're not. standing out. We trying could. to get your grill on, holding mm-hmm. a VR60. You'd be out there blasting. Yeah, not everyone knows this, but you can use the stock as a spatula. What? Yeah. Stop. Wow. I didn't know that. That's is right. There, can, is there also like a uh, pitchfork on the other end? Yeah. Mm, yes. Not pitchfork, but you yeah. know, the meat for, for, oh, fork meat. I meat thought fork. you meant like uh, uh, gravy torch and pitchforks. That's mm-hmm. what I was talking no, about. No, no, that's just silly. I would never think that. I'm just going to stay that. down here. It looks good on you, man. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Yeah. You can pull off that and, uh, other uh, VR 60s other have been incredibly hard to get. Yeah, extremely. You're talking about the Ver 60s? The they're Virgos? Too, they're too we call practical. Ver 60s. Ver 60s? <laughs> they are too practical. Oh, too overly practical? Hey Wait, guys. was that your one? Is that your Uh-oh. bad uh, toe shoe? That's the good bad one. Bad toe shoe? Yeah. That's as good so, for it's good for Here's the thing. You yeah, what's bad up? For if you want to get any good stuff... You're down and want to come to the gun shop, in which we have the gun shop show. What what gun store is that? That's Liberty Tree Gun. Oh, go on.